it hurt a little bit because like here I am like a person with an audience now doing this thing that I love. I know that there's like another audience of people that also love this thing and now I can like communicate with them, but none of them like me. And shout out to you guys, specifically you Maddox, when you did that review, my TikToks, the influx of like, you could be on GBB, dude, you could battle. What's going on? Really? Yeah. Yo, what's up, my crew the Beatbox? Welcome back to another episode with the Beatbox Brothers. Today, we have the infamous beatboxer, Marcus Perez, with us. Uh, everyone knows his reels. No one ever heard him talking. So today is the day. But first of all, Beard, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, man. That's actually true. We, I, I'm not sure if I've heard him talk like at all. Never. I it's also, just beatboxing and singing, so I have no clue. He doesn't what his make voice like even sounds like. He doesn't make content like besides just beatboxing, right? Which yeah. Is, which is fine, but then like, yeah. How does his voice even sound like? Yeah, I'm excited. Talking? This uh, uh, man, this this sound is so famous. Like the. Yeah. It's like one of the most used TikTok sounds. Of all time, everyone knows it. When I give workshops, I I do the sound, and everyone's like, "Whoa, you're a crazy beatboxer!" Yeah. So thank it, you, Marcus is Perez. It, is it like this? Like I'm I'm sometimes not sure if it's just me in the beatbox bu bubble that sees these reads all the time, or it's just everyone uses it. No, it's like on on like random shit. It's like it's like when someone makes a pizza on TikTok. It's like you're like boom 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 boom, 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 boom. and I think they made like a. They have like a little edit for it, like they, they made it slower or uh, or yeah. lower or something. But like, uh, um, there's a lot of variations of this sound that's, on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, that's that's for like the most, yeah, crazy, a beat. like arts and crafts and and yeah. everything. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, like you would expect it's like a Barry Wom song or whatever it is, but it's a solo beatboxer. Yeah, the, yeah, just like famous. the the Shogo sound is also pretty famous. Not as famous as the Marx Brothers one? one, but the yeah, uh, uh, like uh, uh, and now you're gone. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also yeah. really famous on uh, uh, yeah, on on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah, so I saw it too. That's the future of beatbox, man. You should just make like a like a really good TikTok sound. Yeah, I it's mean like that's, 15 that's seconds. like the. That's the present of the music industry. Like everyone who wants to get out his music, he tries to create like a hype on TikTok. And when, whenever he gets lots of shares, uh, it's mostly making them also famous uh, in general. Yeah. 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 yeah so that's going to be interesting. Um, we're going to talk about not only about TikTok, but in general, what Marcus Perez is doing. I'm really cu curious, like, what is this person doing for a living? Uh, does he live from beatboxing? Uh, is he maybe? Does he run a restaurant? No one knows what he's yeah, doing. Yeah. So yeah, we checked out his his last post on Instagram. Says, guys, don't worry, I'm not dead. <laughs> and that's what he said three months ago. Yeah. So uh, we're super excited. What he's what's going on in his life? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. He made he made this. Uh, uh, he, he did this collab with Ariana Grande uh, uh, one yes. time, right? Yeah. It's, um, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he used to be really big on Vine, and um, but I don't remember like how frequently he would post back then because uh, you can't find stuff anymore because Vine is uh, not available anymore. Uh, but yeah, so um, I think we should hop into the interview. Yeah, let's do it. What was that, bro? That, that sounded like a like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, how you doing, Yo, man? What's good? What's good, guys? Beatbox, bro. Yo. Yo, man. Dude, it's crazy. I didn't even think, like, when I was texting you, I was like, ah, oh, he's not going to reply anyways because he's, like, active, like, once in a, uh, once in a decade. <laughs> oh, no, you caught, no, me, during, you, you caught me during my resurgence. I'm, I'm feeling the itch to get back onto the internet, so you got me at a good time. Yeah, if you got me like a week prior, oh, I, was, I was still hibernating. I, I definitely wouldn't have answered. <laughs> like I tried to do some research at least and, and, and go back to your Instagram page and just like Nothing. see what everything from what's like happening 2016 right now. And it's like, or something. 
<laughs> yeah, there is the last the last thing you posted was like, uh, guys, I'm not dead, uh, <laughs> I'm still alive, and that was three months ago. So, well, yeah, it, the official yeah. Beatbox Bros brought me back to life. So, shout out to y'all. <laughs> yeah, nice. man, that's dope. Like me and Barbie also would talk about like how how does this guy even sound when he's not beatboxing? Like I never saw you like oh, a, yeah, I don't like a, just a video where we would talk. Yeah, yeah. Like um, most videos I. We can get into that. That, that, that. that could be like a little uh, um, social media tip. Not talking is definitely part of the strategy when it comes to posting content online. Oh, wow. yeah. okay. Okay. It's a strategy. So that was on yeah. purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Plus, I don't think I have yeah. anything easy or anything interesting to say anyway. So <laughs> that's probably more the reason. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, you you have like one of the most famous uh, TikTok sounds oh on gosh, this planet. Oh that, that video so haunts me. I, I guess, I guess you have at least one thing to talk about. True, <laughs> true. That, that'll be the, the entire podcast. An yeah. hour on that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dun, 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 for just for, just for <laughs> yes. an hour on loop. Yeah, just let's do it. I also enjoy how you just not do it, but you're just imitating you yourself. Yeah, doing pretty it. much. <laughs> it's just like, it's like without <laughs> doing the actual <laughs> throw dice. Like it's fun, honestly, yeah. uh, but like beatbox is one day when I do, uh, Yo, so uh, I had this idea of a bass line. The bass line goes like, duh, 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 duh. and he's like, bro, you can't do a bass line, man. You're beatbox. Just show me how, no. how you would do Honestly, it. Honestly, <laughs> if, if you were to go into like my, um, my, my voice notes in my phone or just like TikTok drafts or whatever, just all videos that I have saved in my phone, it's all me just doing that. I never actually like do the full on beat. I'm just like, do, 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 do. And just what you know I, I never like actually i never oh, like funny. go for it that's why like people see um they'll get glimpses of of like my tiktok and see like you have a thousand drafts i'm like dude all these videos like all thousand of these drafts are just like videos of like my feet just me walking around i'm going to just like not actually ever doing <laughs> anything so yeah people probably are like yeah. what is this guy doing does he even beatbox <laughs> Yeah, just trying to save the idea so it, so it doesn't get pretty lost. Much, pretty yeah. much, pretty much. That, that's funny. Like I, I I try to fully beatbox if I if I make a voice. Really, note. I wish. So I, I, also I wish that I that I did that because it's like it's probably not a good habit because I'll so often I'll go back and I'll listen to old recordings of myself that are just drafts and some of them sound so sick and I'm like not used to hearing like legit beatboxing sometimes. So like from myself. So when I'll go back and I'll listen to it, I'm like. Dude, is that like, is that even me? Like this beatboxing right here sounds so good because I'm so not used to hearing that. Like anytime I'm actually beatboxing in my voice notes and I go back and I'm like, oh my gosh, am I that good? Like, let, hold on, let me try to recreate that. And it never sounds that good. Um, <laughs> it's it's so bad. I got to uh, like get used to just, is that just beatboxing like full yeah, is that on every safe time. voice or? Probably just laziness. That you don't go full all the la way? La laziness, oh, most, okay, most okay. likely. It's just easier yeah, to go like, do 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 yeah, pretty much, pretty okay. much. Sometimes I'm just like in a rush and I just want to get the idea down before I get too much into it because that happens. I'm sure you guys can relate. You ever like come up with like a really cool beat and you just kind of beatbox and you go off and you change the beat and then it doesn't sound good. And then you try to go back to the original idea and then it's like lost forever. I mean, at least that's what happens to me. Like, yeah. like I'll, I'll lose ideas and melodies so fast that like, I just have to take my phone out and like record it as, as quick as possible. Otherwise, if yeah. I like get yeah. too into yeah. it, yeah. then yeah. It, yeah. it changes and I switch things and the melody is different. And then I'm like, I don't like this anymore. And I'm like, how did I do it in the beginning when I first came up with it? So let's just try to get that initial thing. And then if I feel like really taken off with it, then I'll spend the next however many hours yeah. or whatever, just kind of getting into it. Th there should be a function that constantly records, but it's also like it deletes the, la like it gets deleted after an hour. But then whenever you press record, it also takes the last hour of oh my gosh, yeah, you I, did. You know what I mean? I have. <laughs> aren't there like, I think there's sleep apps that do that. It, like the, uh, really? the, for like for people that talk in their sleep, they can, you can just like put it next what? to your bed. And whenever mm. it starts like recognizing uh, sound, it will record. Right. I just, that's a I thing. I need to trigger whenever I have like a good idea because most of them are like not. <laughs> most of my, my my voice recordings are like absolute trash. I cringe. I keep them just because <laughs> I want to keep them. Maybe there's like some something in there that could be good, but for the most part, they're all just mm -hmm. like not good ideas. But you know, it's just good to have them. I guess. Yeah. Good are you too. like? Uh, is is that also the reason why you haven't posted? My are you a perfectionist? Is it like it has to be like really good before you post we, it? We, we, it? The whole podcast could just be like that topic alone. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think I, I mm. think it is. It's just a combination of of being a little bit too much of a perfectionist and not having like the confidence, I guess, in in my work. Yeah. And um, 
kind of just the pressures that I've put on myself ever since like Vine, because Vine was like, are we getting into this? Because this is like, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right, yeah, all right. I mean, all right. I don't yeah, know if yeah. we're like, we're, if we're like really like digging deep into it, but yeah. Yeah, so 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 quick, uh, quick uh, introduction. So guys, uh, I guess most of, of people know Marcus Paris from TikTok, but he actually started on Vine. This Shout out app to Vine. doesn't exist anymore for some reason. Mm -hmm. Only the dinosaurs, uh, only the dinosaurs but remember. But I heard uh, Elon Musk actually wants to bring back Vine. He's gonna buy it or what? No, no, no. So Vine was uh, Vine was uh, by Twitter. Yeah. It was like a, it was an app from oh. Twitter. Oh. And for some reason I they, uh, I think they like Twitter th didn't make enough money with Vine. Yeah, or they just weren't it was. paying creators enough, and a lot of them kind of, in their way, protested Vine and was like, "Well, if we're not gonna get paid on this app, we're just gonna take our talents and you know upload on platforms mm -hmm. where we are gonna get paid." And when you have like a majority of the top creators on on one app just all decide to leave um yeah traffic just tanked and the app couldn't survive went down yeah but but i mean tiktok is also not like paying that much right like, like how much now it is, is it they like, just um like, they just released uh, a new payment method before that was just the creativity fund uh or the creator fund mm -hmm. and i i didn't make anything off the creator fund i think in total maybe i made like that four thousand dollars i think which is like over the course mm -hmm. of that is that is so crazy that is so crazy right like for the sound like i've, I've heard it literally i that's everywhere. four thousand dollars since i started or since the creator fund um first was launched i mean i, I joined tiktok in 2020 during the pandemic beginning of 2020 february 2020 mm -hmm. and um so I think they made the creator fund like a year after I joined. So for like over two years, like $4,000, like that's nothing. But they do have a new program where um, I guess you're really trying to compete with shorts. So if you post videos over a minute, um, then based on like the views and engagement and all that stuff, you get a much larger sum. I've seen people, you know, get, you know, half a million views on a video and get paid like a few hundred dollars, which is really mm -hmm. good compared to Our TikTok. Is yeah, really good. yeah, really yeah. good compared to like what I was getting. I yeah. would get like, you know, a, a couple million views on a video and I check my creator fund and it's like, cool, you earned eleven dollars. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's it's, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, and it's like yeah. these the four thousand euros, is that mostly from that one video no. or is that that's just like, uh, across like like I can imagine then yeah so it's all across. So like this one video might have made made you maybe a thousand, maybe 500 euros. Probably not a thousand, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like uh, between so five not even a thousand. probably not even a thousand. No, for that, for that, mm -hmm. for that video. Yeah. yeah so that's crazy. I mean, it, you would think that, you know, I get a lot of you, I average like over like a couple million views per video. So you would think like, oh, Snap, he's, he's probably like ranking in the money from this creator fund. But I mean, you, you then bring in the fact that I rarely post. I think I only have like 40 mm. videos, like since I started TikTok, like over the course of three years, like 40 videos compared to people that upload three times a day, four times a day, 10 times a day, you know, Spencer X who yeah, like Sp posts, Spencer X yeah, like video like every single day, like multiple videos. times a day, then you can get, you know, a uh, hundred thousand views, a couple hundred thousand views, 500,000 views, 50,000 views and you don't have to get millions and millions of views. But if you, if you're posting constantly, 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 then I've seen people or heard of people making like, you know, in the tens of thousands of, of dollars from the creator fund. So it definitely pays to be mm -hmm. super consistent. Mm -hmm. One thing that I am not, um, <laughs> you can't just rely on like posting once every three months and, you know, sure. I get like 10 million views when I do so, but, um, that's, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't learn yeah. from me. Yeah. <laughs> Is is beatbox all you do? Is that your your full time yeah. job? Yeah. yeah, it was. I, I'm I'm lucky that during the Vine era, oh my gosh, the Vine era was was crazy. It was like imagine the the business side of of TikTok and earning money. Multiply that times ten. Like that's what it was like on Vine. It was insane. If Vine if Vine was still around, like I'd probably be like a, a millionaire just off of brand deals. It was crazy. Um, you mm. can. You have to imagine that outside of YouTube, Vine was like the first platform where, you know, people were gaining notoriety from videos like YouTube was like king and that was mm -hmm. it. And then Vine comes along and it's like a second platform where you can, you know, create videos and people were becoming like massively famous on this app. 
thing about Instagram at the time, it was just pictures. Sure, you had like Instagram influencers, but those were all just like models that just posted, you know, attractive selfies. Um, yeah. Nobody was like really popping on, on Instagram like that. And then Vine comes out, you're uploading little stupid six second videos and you could just be some Joe Schmo in his room with shitty lighting and like a face full of acne. You didn't have to be beautiful. You just make funny videos and and you're more famous than the most beautiful woman on Instagram at the time, you know? So yeah, we were, we were very, very valuable, um, in terms of, of, of brand deals. And so I think at like a million followers, I was getting, you know, 20, 30, 40, 6, like $60,000 deals for making six second videos, you know, like literally just like, here's, we want to make, we want you to make a couple mm. vines, just make like two six second videos. We'll pay you 30 K and just say less, you know? So, um, <laughs> for real, like <laughs> nowadays, yeah. nowadays, like, cause at the time a million followers was a lot compared to like, TikTok, everybody has a million followers, you know, it's, it's not, the value has like tanked. So you're not getting like $50,000 deals with, uh, with a million. Fo- I mean, some people are, depends, you, you can get lucky, depends on the brand and the budget. Yeah, if, if you're like a super niche, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like in the finance. Yeah, but like the average like, person with a million followers is, is not getting that type of money today. Um, so it was, it was a beautiful time on Vine. I, I definitely took advantage. Um, I was on like a couple of years swing where it was just like brand deal after brand deal after brand deal after brand deal. And TikTok, it's like oh. not, I haven't gotten that many. I think I've gotten only like a handful of brand deals, maybe like three, I think. Uh, I'd have to like mull over it, but I think only like three or four brand deals on TikTok. Also because I don't post. <laughs> if I posted like constantly, then yeah, it would be a different story. But mm. um, yeah, so I'm just lucky that I, I, I was able, I was in a spot where, you know, I can accumulate a lot of um, income to hold me over. So beatboxing, yeah, it's, it's still definitely like keeping me afloat. Um, but if I continue on the swing of only posting once a year, you might catch me at like your local <laughs> restaurant or something. <laughs> that might be your cashier down the street. I mean, you know, just beatboxing to the, to I'm the not- scan, like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. <laughs> I'm- I mean, I mean, Codfish is also doing like similar approach. Like he doesn't post much, but whenever he posts something, it gets a million views on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube is, is definitely where it's at. Like that's, I've had so many people telling me over the years, like get on YouTube, get on YouTube, make a YouTube channel, like post content on YouTube. Do- hey, Shh. sorry. That's my baby boy. Hey, stop. Yeah. No worries. Stop it. Shh. There's nobody there. <laughs> sorry. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. YouTube. Um, it's definitely the way to go. Um, I've had so many people telling me to, to jump on YouTube and, and start creating content. But like YouTube, I always for the longest time thought was like such a huge step up from just filming videos with my phone. You know, like you think YouTube mm-hmm. and, and production mm-hmm. and sound quality has got to be better and everything has to be like elevated. And that kind of goes into like the whole pressure that I put on myself. I mean, those vines, I know <laughs> I know, I, got, I know, I got clowned. And I was like, you can only be bots for six seconds. All he does is throw bass, da, 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 da. But like every, vi- <laughs> yeah. every video that I've ever posted, I don't think I've spent less than like two hours on. Like every single video at minimum cost me like a couple hours to, to just recording. Like just sitting there and take after take after take after take after take after take oh, for wow. like a minimum two hours. I was like, you talk about perfectionist and that's like essentially what all of my videos are. It's like me at my most perfect. That one viral video, the, yeah. the, we all know, um, the one that shall not be named <laughs> that video. <laughs> I, I, I like how you try not to do no, it. No, I, look, <laughs> I'm going to get second. it. I'll, we can get into that video, all the, the scams and, and the ripoffs and people monetizing <laughs> that. Yeah, sh- like, or, yeah. sh- can I curse on this or yeah. no? Are you just going to bleep it out? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we, yeah. Have, we have an editor. He will put an S okay. over your yeah, sh- yeah, I get the <laughs> S. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but yeah, like that video took me, I want to say like, a couple days, like two, like five hour recording sessions. I think I wasn't happy the first day with like any of my takes. Um, and so I slept on it. It was like, I'm dumb. I'll, I'll start That's at crazy. like midnight. I'll start recording. I mean, I set up my light up and 
get in position and I got my camera on and, 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 you know, I start going shitty take, shitty take, shitty take, delete, 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 recording for hours. I think five hours the first night I didn't like how any of them came out. And so I tried again the next night and then I narrowed it down to like 10 drafts and I got the one that I liked and that's the one that yeah. posted like all these videos that's are just like hours of recording. It's to the point that's also goes into why I like post so infrequently. It's like, I can't, I don't know how to do it any other way. I don't know how to just like sit there and like no effort, just like record a video. Some of my videos. Yeah. But like for the most part, I have to like put a lot of intent and energy and be super happy with it. Cause the day that I just start mm -hmm. posting willy nilly and I don't care. And it's like, whatever, that's the day that I've given up and I just, don't give it, don't, don't give a crap anymore. So wow. I feel like I need to like put that effort in cause that's kind of what I've always done. So yeah, those videos, those videos, they, they, they take a lot of time and a lot of energy. Um, but it's, it's what's worked out. So why? Yeah. I yeah. think that's, 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 that's part of the, 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 the way, why, why it worked Yeah, because people, uh, all the videos are just like, like good. Even if it's seven seconds, they're like so good that people expect the next video to be exactly. good too. Exactly. I guess that's a. I mean, it backfires a because you can't, you can't like put those kind of expectations on yourself. You can't keep that up. Like everyone experiences burnout. I'm sure you guys have at one point experienced some kind of form of burnout. I guess yep. I just hit it a little bit more frequently than, than most people, but it always comes back. It's like I've gone through periods where like beatboxing is kind of on the back burner and then I get the spark and I get inspired. And I just want to like create, 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 and then it dies down again and then create, 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 and then it dies down again. So out of all my like dips, I do come back and there'll be like a little period where I'm, I'm, I'm more consistent, yeah. but then it always just kind of like, I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't keep doing this. And I just, I, I always feel like, you know, I've learned now it's been a lot of time. Like I can, maybe I can just be a little more, you know, relaxed with it and not, you know, put this on mm. such a pedestal and just have fun with it. And it just, it never works out. I don't know how to do it. I don't think I'll ever get to that point. It's uh, just, I gotta, gotta do what I gotta do. So everybody thinks I'm like this, like super amazing beatboxer. But if you've heard the takes, like I feel like I suck like 90, <laughs> literally 99% of the time. And it's just the ones that I post. That's the 1% where I'm like, Oh, that's the perfect take. It, it, it's good. It's good. It's good. Like post it. And then once it's posted, the reason why I haven't actually done the beat is because, and I think it's kind of interesting. I can talk this entire podcast. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the I think it's, no, good. It's, it's good. That's why you, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a talker. Yeah. I'm definitely a talker. Um, I find, I, I wanted to ask you guys, um, like just the differences of approach from, I guess, people that are more in the battle background compared to someone like me, who is you know, known as like a social media beatboxer. Um, the way that I approach beatboxing it has to be different because that's essentially what I do. I'll, I'll spend like a couple weeks coming up with an idea or maybe it just comes to me and I'm inspired. And then I work on the beat for a few weeks. And then once I feel like I've got it enough to where I can record, um, I'll do my whole five hour recording session. And once I get it good, it's posted and then it's gone forever. I never go back to it. I never expand upon any of these beats. I never try to make them better. I never try to perfect them more. I mm. just, I, I leave them and then it's like on to the next because like if I'm spending that long on one, you know, 20 second video, it's like, I have to be like, okay, what's the next 20 second video? I don't have time to like go back and like, let me see what else I can do and turn this into a full routine. Or I was like, I feel like you guys, if you're like preparing for, you know, GBB, sorry. How do you guys feel about Swiss beatbox? All right. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, <laughs> you've seen the podcast. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the company that no, shall not fine. be named. We, we still love, we still, we still love GBB. It's just some people at Swiss Beatbox. Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel you. But um, so, like, yeah, if you guys are like preparing for something like that, like how many, how many routines do you guys have to have? Oh, and sorry, sorry, I, I have to, I have to say mm -hmm. once again, it's not some people. It's one person okay. in particular. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, be, be, before people no, start, you got to qualify. You got to qualify. That, yeah. Um, so when you're yeah. preparing for something like that, how many routines do you have to ha do you have to have like on the ready, from wild card to like well, yeah, final? I I always try to have every single round uh. uh ready so all the all the rounds so whatever if, if it's six like uh you have a quarterfinal uh, what is it uh, does that make sense uh yeah so yeah uh, quarterfinals, quarterfinals uh, um and half finals, finals and then finals yeah. and then one or two ideas usually i have for 
for extra time for extra rounds so like if if they like if it's like a draw or anything you have to go over time mm -hmm. i have to like have an extra idea that i can put right on the spot and then i have some like battle moves that i write down some like some shit that i can always put out as a battle move works against anyone it's just like something that it will count as a battle move but that that's what i used to do so that, that, uh, before I that's like a lot of preparation like so the same thing with you maddox I mean, I know you haven't like battle yeah, and, uh, in a minute. And I, I also tend to prepare everything. Like, uh, I think BR can sometimes pull off like a freestyle on stage. I never do this. I, I can't. I just can't. I, everything has to be prepared. So, uh, and, and for European champs, for example, we had to prepare 12 rounds. That was insane. <laughs> 12 rounds. So how yeah. long are you yeah, guys like preparing was... for this? Like how long in advance? Yeah, I, I, I would prepare like months in advance for these for these routines and i have a couple that i'm pretty certain that i will use but like gb if it's gbb you have to like have six new routines that are like gbb level so it's always like something really like you would have probably like three really good ideas and then the rest is like you're never happy with the other mm -hmm. three it's like mm -hmm. never like good enough because you're like you're like comparing it to like is this gbb level and you're like probably not you know, mm -hmm. like, and then, and then you try something else. But is this? No, nah, it's it's kind of not. But this routine kind of sounds too similar to the other routine that I did in the first round. And you're like, <laughs> you sound like a TikTok I kind of use right this now. sound already. You know, yeah, like, so like <laughs> that, that's how that's it how, works. That's how I think. Yeah, it's like, I use, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how, like, how we go about these. And like, I used the trumpet sound. I did use the uh, uh, throat bass as a melody, you know? So like, I, I cannot do it hey, for the hey, other you round. Can, you can never so, have um, too much throat bass, all right? It's I, I agree. Never. I totally agree. Um, yeah. So like when you're practicing these routines, like you have to get them down like on another level, like you have to have them at the ready, right? Like you have to practice these routines. I would imagine so much that like at any point for any battle, whatever, someone on the street was like, hey, do that routine. You you got it on the ready, right? Like these mm -hmm. are like yeah. ingrained. Yeah. These are like part of your arsenal, essentially, um, which is so different for me because like if you were to ask me to do that beat right now, I'm like, okay, I gotta like prepare. Like, right, how did how did it go? Like, what what did I do? I'd probably mess it up. Like, it, it wouldn't sound clean. I post these videos, and then once I hit that post button and I see it on my page, it's gone forever. I like never mm -hmm. go back to it. So like, essentially, I feel like yeah. I don't have like beats. I don't have an arsenal of like beats on the ready. Like, if someone were to ask me to like beatbox, I'd have to like. I feel like I'd come up with something on the spot, you know, or like maybe little patterns and stuff that I use when I'm when I'm practicing. But for the most part, yeah, I don't think I have like a set of beats that like I can just like a catalog that I can mentally flip through and be like, oh, yeah, that'd be like, let me post or let me let me perform that basically, because I don't really have to like perform them for anything. I'm not doing battles. I'm not mm. doing shows or anything like that. So, again, I just I post these beats and then they're like gone forever. So that's why like when you hear me, I'm like, dun, 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 dun. And I just never like actually do it because I like, <laughs> I don't ever do it. It's like, why, why would I, I'm not just walking around. I don't love it as much as the internet does. I'm not walking around the house like, yeah, duh, no, 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 no. Like, no, I'm just, <laughs> like, no. I'm like, <laughs> so like, yeah, it's just. But is it like, is it like, you don't like watching yourself back? Is that it? Is it like, or is it, yeah, is, what's the reason to not, well, I probably, again, because like, I just, I don't have a reason to, I think like it would literally like if I was a battler, if that was something that I was like passionate about and I knew I had like upcoming stuff where I like, I had to have content prepared, then yeah, that's a different story. But if I'm just making TikTok videos, it's like, why, why would I, I, I need to come up with like new stuff. So it's like, why go back and like flesh out all these old ideas. Um, that's like me. Mm -hmm. I, I, the, the only reason why I can see maybe myself doing that is if, you know, I want to build full routines and, and post them on YouTube, you know, making like music videos and stuff like that. Then, yeah, that would be different. But just for like creating content, it's like take a, take someone that does like comedy skits or something like that. It's like, okay, they make their skit, you know, they, they write it, they write all the lines, they, they act it out, they perform it, they post it. It's like, okay, now I got to come up with a new skit. It's like, they're not going to go back and like, well, look, that last skit, like what else could I add to it? Or let me like perfect the lines or like, let me try a different cadence. It's like, it's already posted. It's like, why, why go back and do it? So yeah. it's kind of why. No, yeah, that makes sense. Like, well, if I uh, compare it to myself, like there is 
certain battles that I don't like at all. Most battles actually that I've been in that I'm that I don't watch <laughs> back. I just I just don't like watching myself make mistakes or like like I I go through that moment again. Mm-hmm. Um, the hat. But there are some. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> no, that was terrible. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> that's actually a battle that I don't watch back. Uh, but um, uh, there are some battles that that went well or like surprisingly well that I freestyled in a moment and it kind of worked out. And I was like, okay, I can watch that back. Um, but you don't have that even with the the, the best stuff they've put Watching out. Watching content back. back um, some videos, it's the same. Some videos that I feel like I was a little lackluster on. Like, I, I if they come up. No, I, I don't want to watch it. But there are other videos that I, I after I post a video, it's like almost 100 percent of the time. I don't want to watch it back. I post and then I leave the app. I like don't I don't want to hear it. I feel like it sucks because most of the time I've I've been recording for so long. And when you hear the same shit over and over and over and over and over again, you have like a warped mm. sense of like what you're listening to. So it doesn't even sound good at that point. But I have to like force myself yeah, to remember yeah. how good it was when I first came up with it. I have to like remember that feeling like. Sometimes when I come up with a really good idea, I'm like, oh, this is like, oh, this is going to be a banger. And then by the time I'm ready to post, I'm like, I hate this. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. 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 so this, is, this is with music production, like yeah. uh, a lot yeah. of the time. I mean, you, you start something, it's like, and then it, it takes it takes more than a day or two. You have heard the, the mm-hmm. song like, uh, like a million times already. You're like, when it's yeah. posted, you're like, okay, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll leave it for, for the audience. Exactly. Yeah, so you don't enjoy it anymore. No, it most sense. of the time that's how it that's how it is. Um, but some beats they do grow on me. Like that that one viral video, it, it did grow on me. And then when I'm like really into a beat that I like, like I'll I'll play that shit on loop. I'm just like I fucking did that. <laughs> um, but yeah, for the most part, yeah, for cool. the most part, I, I tried not to. If anybody else plays my shit, I don't care what video it is. I cringe immediately. Um, turn the turn this off. Like I don't I don't want to be around you. Leave me alone. Play it in the other room. I don't want to hear it. Like don't play my own stuff around me. I don't care who you are. But in secret, sometimes I'll just be like, "This was a good video." I'm like, yeah, I like this. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. no, no. But that one video, yeah. as far as like the beat itself, I do I do enjoy that beat. It's just all the um, all the shenanigans that that went on around it that are. I'm not particularly fond of. Ah, uh, you, 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 you lost a lot of money, basically. Uh, I mean, not a lot of money. I, I made money off of it. You know, I was definitely claiming videos of people that were posting it and using it. But it's just like, how, uh, how PC do I want to be? <laughs> um, <laughs> the, it's like, no, no, no hate to this crowd. I don't even know if I want to name him. If you guys can guess the name, then then you can. I, I mean, you can be vague if you like. Yeah, you don't have to um, name anyone. But I mean, it's not even like anything bad. It's just he's a decent beatboxer and I'm sure he's like a cool person. I'm actually friends with him on TikTok. Um, we don't talk or anything, but he pretty much when that beat was like going crazy, he took my beat and just ran with it. And like, I don't have a lot of respect for that. I know like the the, the normal person, like the non-creative out there, Whenever they hear the credit argument, like the, the, the credit, the whole like credit scenario, mm-hmm. like, oh, why do you care if you get credit? Just be happy that it's like on the internet. Like, shut up. Be quiet. <laughs> Stop. Like, if you create something and you have it stolen from you, like, I don't care who you are, you're going to be like upset. And I have no problem with people like covering my beat, yeah. doing it, whatever. But when you take something that I created and kind of make it your own, then I have an issue. And that's what this creator did. He just... Every mm, time I went on, I I every time I went on my, 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 my for you page and a video of his was on, he was using my beat in his content. And I called him out once in the comments. And then I think he made one video and like tagged me or whatever, and then just continued to like rip it off and do it over and over and over. And I'm sure there are millions of people who think that he came up with it. He has like a YouTube video has like some of his most popular content his most viewed content is like using my beat. With like no credit, no like nothing like that, no tag, no mention. I think he has like a video on YouTube with sixty million views it's using my my beat. Video on TikTok, fifty mm-hmm. million views using my beat, and he was just doing it, oh spamming it over and over and over. And I'm like, that's like not cool. So that kind of got under my skin. Um, again, I don't mind. I know that that beat kind of grew beyond me, and it's like its own thing. And I'm not even upset that like. People just think it's like this internet sound and they don't even know it's beatbox. They don't know it's me. Like, that's fine. Again, if you want to cover it, that's, that's cool. But like taking it, kind of like turning it into your own thing. 
and and monetizing that, uh, I have an issue with that. And then the scams, yeah. and then the scam. It, I got. Hold on, actually, I don't know if I want to say this. Um, it's, and I've dealt with it with that and like a lot of my content, like over and over and over again. So it's just like a lot of like, just ah, if, if you're going to learn anything from me, it's like monetize your own content before somebody else does, because trust me, if it gets that big, mm. other people will. Um, so if it means yeah. like, oh, yeah. Wow. And, and, and I mean, I mean, the thing is like, for example, um, uh, I remember um, we produced a cover, like it was Gene's album, Gene made an mm -hmm. album and he, he had a cover song on his album. Uh, and it was from, I think from Pharrell. Mm. When, when he uploads the album, he had to register it and then um, that is a cover and 50% of the cover would directly go to the, to the label. Mm -hmm. So, so the, so Pharrell gets paid for, for the cover. And, and that's the thing, like, you know, if you, if you uh, register your music properly, um, and, and I have no clue how, how this would go on TikTok, uh, but yeah, the original artist would get paid even, even if people would cover stuff or use it. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's so kind of similar to, but yeah, I'll, I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys after like the whole thing and it's, yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah, worries. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so annoying. I don't want to give people the idea. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, any, any other questions? Uh, again, I can, I can just give me one question. Yeah, anyways, I'll talk for uh, the next yeah, 30 so, minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. Well, no. we, we actually, I can tie it to something you said earlier, uh, uh, because we, we talked a little bit about how we prepare for battles. Um, I would, I would love to hear your opinion about battles and the battle scene. And mm. you, you've, I, th I don't think you've done any any battles in the past, or have you thought about I was in, it? I was in one have battle, you? one battle. It's not on the internet. Maybe it's on the internet. Doubt it. Um, eighth grade, when I first started beatboxing, there was a, a beatboxer from a rival school, rival middle school, who wanted, who heard that I was a beatboxer at my school. And he came after school and he was like, I'm calling out the best beatboxer in this school. And so me and all my friends got around and I was doing the whole like, <laughs> <laughs> that was the only battle that I've ever been in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's one of those yeah. core memories. But as far as like an official battle, no, um, never been in a battle. I love the battles and they're a uh, terrific source of entertainment. Um, I'll throw them up on my TV like and, and, and enjoy the shit. The, the BBU battle. Oh, my gosh. Like uh, GBB was crazy. Mm. But dude, that y'all be art. All, all y'all. You guys stepped the f right. up and it was so beautiful to see because it it kind of reminded me of like what I was what I've kind of been doing on the Internet for a long time. And it, it, it blended the two creating content, but like battles, you know, like before I feel like a mm -hmm. lot of you guys were like so stuck in just like on a stage battling. And then, you know, social media apps came along and, and there I was just making stupid six second videos and I was getting totally shit on by the community. <laughs> um, but like that, it was to me just creating content and seeing like you guys create content, but also make it a battle. I was like, oh, this is like freaking amazing. Like these people are like stepping in like way the f up and it was so awesome to see. But I love the battles. Um, I, I think uh, as far as battling myself, no, I'm not a battler. I don't have that, um, that like that battle energy. I don't energy. have that, that desire mm. to get on stage and, and do and, and perform. Um, I'd probably get like destroyed, but I would definitely be like in the crowd front row, just like, yeah, do low. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. so yeah, I, 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 but did you, did you ever go as to just watch? What's about I've never, been, I've never been to about I've I have not been around another beatboxer in person in years like since Vine so I haven't like wow. I haven't met any beatboxers I haven't there was one beatboxer and he he's kind of disappointed me a little bit uh really really popular okay. beatboxer on TikTok who uh Lived like right down the street and I, I hit him up. I was like, oh, like, let's link, let's, let's make some content. And then he just gave me like a, I'm not working with beatboxes right now. I'm focused on my brand. And I was like, oh. okay, wow. I was like, okay. what? Okay. I, was like, wait, I was like, wait, hold on. Like your brand is beatboxing. I'm a beatboxer. What do you mean? <laughs> but yeah. I get it. Get your money. Like do, do, do what you got to do. Uh, I'm not mad at that. I think I was more disappointed. It's probably my fault for not like 
explaining my intentions. Like, I don't really care about collabing with people, really. Like, if you can go through all my videos, I think I've only collabed with like maybe five people. Or Anna Grande. Just to name okay, a person. Right, true, true. <laughs> you got me there. You got me there. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> just damn, I'm called out. All right, all right. But, like, in, ge- in general, um, I don't really, again, this, she's probably one of like five people you'll ever see me like in a video with. Um, so I don't really, I don't need to clap with people. I don't, I don't really care about collabing. I'm not trying to mooch off followers. Like, I can make content myself. It's self evident. I, I do well on my own. Um, I was just more excited to like meet this dude. And just like geek out over like beatbox shit. Like, what's your favorite sound? Yeah, like, but- what's the sound you wish you could do? When did you first start? Who's your favorite beatboxer? Like, like all that. Like, yeah. like, ugh. exactly. And that's that's why I wanted to ask too, because because beatboxers we are such nerds. Yeah, like we need to find connection with other beatboxers because we have we we've nothing to share that weird mm-hmm. energy with. Mm-hmm. Like we have to find these people, and that's why like uh, we'd love to come out <laughs> to Dude, these battles. Sure. I'm a. We have to just share. I'm a geek. Knowledge about weird shit. I'm a beatboxing yeah, geek. I, 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 I like, I've, I've taught, I've been on dates with women. And as soon as they ask me like <laughs> one question about beat, as soon as they say the word beatbox, so, oh my God. So like, yeah, when I was like 13, like I was, I tried to do this thing. I heard this video and I was like, let me list. I, I get so excited and like, I got like goosebumps, like talking about it. It's so cool. And so like just the lack of enthusiasm yeah. from this guy. Like just ah, it disappointed me. I was yeah. like, man, you live like right there. You live like right there. Like this is, but it's fine. I, I I probably came at him wrong. Like like, hey, let's make content. But it's is, is it is, sorry sorry. I I am one hundred percent sure of people will ask questions. It's is it Spencer? Yes. <laughs> but shout out to okay, Spencer. Wow, yeah. But shout out to Spencer. <laughs> shout out to Spencer, dude. I have nothing but like respect uh, for him. Do you do, do you still live so close by? Um, he actually hit me up. I he 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 moved he moved he, out. He did recently, move he did no? move recently, and like I hit him up like 2021 I think I want to say so this is like two years ago and he and that's when he gave me his response and then like a couple months ago he reached out to me and was like yo and I knew he probably wanted to link up because I knew that he was moving and I was like bro you're gonna like reach out now because you're leaving like we could have been. We could have been the American beatbox bros. Like, <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. Be and, and, oh my God. But bro, I was like, bro, we could have, we could have been insane. like, chill. We could have been like friends and like made cool stuff. But he just wanted to hit yeah. me up now that he's leaving yeah. and, and it's fine. Damn. Again, I'm not mad at anybody that like wants to like, because yeah. that's what we're all trying to do. We're all trying to make this like a business and, and, and earn a living from it. So I'm, I'm, and he's like, wait, he's he's doing it. He's doing it better than like anyone's done it before. So shout out to him. But I was just like, oh, I just wanted to meet you, man. I just wanted to like, what's your favorite sound? Like that's 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 all. Um, yeah. So I was a little disappointing. Yeah. And, I, and I when he hit me up and and I knew that he only hit me because he was he was about to dip um, from L.A. I was like, ah, I'm cool. Like I'm nice. all right. I, yeah. Again, I don't need to like make content with people. Like that's not what it's about for me. Like especially so with, you especially still with have that age. I I can't imagine. Is it like uh, did the community because because you've got like I I know the, the community is so competitive mm-hmm. that they see someone do well with like basic well I I not basic but like no, basic I'm, sounds I'm, for them I'm, you know sounds are basic they they, they want to like they want to hear like the fastest thing yeah. and the weirdest thing yeah. and uh, with so simple uh, uh, nice melodies singing uh, throat bass you can make people uh, like uh, watch your video so many times. Mm. I think they that created kind of like jealousy and maybe they they put out hate towards you. Maybe. Uh, did you get kind of like like Dead. Yeah, exactly. Dead. Like like <laughs> I, like I feel like a lot of people uh from the community might have like uh yeah. talked uh, bad um, about you. And is that one of the reasons that you've kind of like 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 maybe even like yeah, you you just told about the the Spencer uh thing. Um, that you're kind of like, oh, I, I kind of don't want to meet these people. Like, I, I, mm. I, I feel like they won't welcome me. No, as far as Spencer, he's in the same boat that I am. Like all these social media beatboxers are my kids. Uh, sorry, that was a little flex. Um, <laughs> I was a little flex. I was like one of the first like social, like outside of YouTube. Yeah, outside of YouTube, I was like one of the first like big social media beatboxers. Um, but Spencer is like kind of in the same boat that I am. I feel like, I feel like we, that's why, again, like we relate to a lot of stuff. I'm sure he probably felt a lot of things about the, the beatboxing community that I felt at one point. I don't have those feelings anymore, but yeah. And, and I mean, Spencer is even like, like <laughs> you, you would take care 
a lot like uh, about the quality mm -hmm. He would just put post everything, yeah. right? Like, ah, yeah, yeah just just. Post I it. wanted to learn how the I hell he did I, that. I, like, how do you just like make a video willy nilly and like just let me just throw shit out there? Like, yeah, but 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 that, that that's like the danger. Like, if you post everything, then uh, the like I think he would get a lot of criticism <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. for like also also or trying bullshit, everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But also yeah, even if you yeah also you could have fifty million followers on TikTok. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah true. I mean, as far as like yeah. feeling. Um, critiques from the community. I felt that in the beginning, like on Vine for the most part. Yeah, when I was on Vine, I, I had my million followers and even on Instagram, I had like my million followers on Instagram. Those, that was a community that like loved me. And so they were like excited every time I posted a video and it was like nothing but like praise. I'm very grateful to be like one of the few content creators out there that like doesn't get like much hate. Um, But back then, the mm -hmm. only hate that I did get was coming from the community. And like I had subscribed to Swiss Beatbox when they were at like 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. Like I I think similar. Yeah. Like I have I've been a fan of beatboxing for a long time. I think, yeah, I was in. I want to say like eighth grade. How old are you in eighth grade? Like 13, maybe 13, 14 when when I first started beatboxing. Um, so I was like, I loved the community, especially in like the later years. Um, and then once I started posting on Vine, it's like everybody hated me because I was only beatboxing for six seconds. I was using basic sounds. I didn't I wasn't battle tested. I didn't go through all the like trials and tribulations that that, you know, the, the legends um, went through to like get to where they are. And here I am, some random kid. Mm -hmm that's just doing throat bass and I'm like more popular than like reaps one or, you know, Darnie or Alem or like all these mm. like legends, right? Mm. Like I'm getting more notoriety than they are. And so I like, I completely understand. I understand like the frustration, but at the same time, like I didn't like ask, I wasn't trying to like be famous on Vine. Like I wasn't trying to be yeah. popular. I was just, I was a right. kid that loved to be very best. And I made, a little six second video one day on this random app that like, I used to be so anti-social media. I'm like, social media is stupid. Vine is dumb. My friend forced me to download it. I'm like, this is like a dumb, like what? It's only six seconds. Like I sounded like everybody that hated on me. There's only six seconds. Like what is this? Mm. And then one day I was just at home bored and I posted a video and then boom. And the rest is history. Um, so like, again, I understand mm. like the frustration from the community, but I've never claimed to be like, the best beatboxer in the world or better than all these legends. Like I don't, I try to like not carry an ego about me. Um, I just do what I love and I'd share it with the people that love to listen to it. So yeah, I, I get the frustration, but it kind of, it hurt a little bit because like here I am like a person with, you know, an audience now doing this thing that I love. And I know Just there's a nerd that wants to be, both. I know that there's like another audience of people that also love this thing. And now I can like communicate with them, but none of them like me. So I'm just like, oh man, like, damn, that sucks. All right, let me just continue to just do my own thing on my own. And shout out to you mm. guys, uh, <laughs> specifically you Maddox. Um, when you did that review uh, of my, my TikToks, the influx of like, oh, yeah. dude, you could be a, you could, you could be on GBB, dude. You could battle. Like you're so, you, dude, every comment was like, submit a wild card. You're so good. I was like, what's going on? Really? Yeah, dude. Uh, Cause like, I think like I hadn't posted on Instagram in a really long time. Like my last content before TikTok was like years. Like I had been off the internet for like, I think maybe like three years in total. Um, just void of any content on, on Instagram. And then I joined TikTok and I started creating videos on TikTok. And then you do your review and you made that one little comment, like, dude, you could be a serious GBB competitor. And I was like, what? <laughs> like my last memory of like people reviewing my stuff was like, nobody liked me. Cause like, it was too simple and easy yeah. and like, da, 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 da. and so to go from like, this guy sucks to like, you could be a GBB competitor was like a complete 180. And I was like, Hey, what mm. is going on? Like, people think I'm like that good. Like, okay, all yeah, right, nice cool. Like, yeah. Bro, 
It yeah, was bro, it was pretty me awesome. And me, I remember me be before I did this video, me and uh, Shazam, we would sit at his place in Berlin and we would watch every of your videos and oh we'd be like, gosh. what? Why the <laughs> f <laughs> this guy sounds so good, man. It's so well pitched and like the tone of the throw bass oh, and like thanks, your man. low throw bass. I till this day I have no clue. Is this is a vibration I can, bass. I can is teach you. Just a low I'll show you how I how I how I got it. Yeah, it's Let's so go. good. Bro, you know, it's it sounded so good. And like I don't know any beatboxer that has Like on every sound, like the the, the thing what what hooked me with your video, videos was like every sound sounded like it's like perfected, you know, like every beatboxer has like a weakness with snares mm. or he doesn't hit the pitch right or he can't sing uh, or his throat bass sounds thin, you know. Mm. Uh, but on yours, it was like damn, like every sound of yours sounds so perfectly, that's, so perfect. And I was like, dude, I yeah. gotta make a video <laughs> yeah. to, that's that. to show people, to prove to, to, to show people why it's so good, you know? Like, like I felt like, why why is this guy getting so much hate? That was the But five like, hours of like, recording I would love right there. To that was the five hours of recording to like get those, those Bro, perfect still, videos. But I mean, yeah, hmm. like, I mean, I and I've gone back and I've, listen to old videos and I was pretty trash. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I listened to my old vines yeah, and I'm but, like, but oh, man. what the, f <laughs> I listen to old Instagram videos. I'm like, what was I doing? Um, but I mean, people, yeah, people liked them. Beatboxing again is like just evolved and I've evolved also as a beatboxer. So um, it's obviously there's gonna be a big difference, yeah. but. No, I, I think bro, it's like, like I, and I was serious about it. I, I really think like uh, if you would work on routines, it can be, You could uh, easily compete. It thank to you. I will never do that. Yeah, if you wanted you. to, yeah, I'm if never going to do that. To. But yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. And man, <laughs> <laughs> sorry to break the hearts like, out there. I, I, <laughs> but no, I'm, you'll never see me on a battle stage. Yeah, it's just no, no, no worries. But I, yeah, like, I'm just saying, like, you have the quality. You know, like, um, like, I, and there's, there's, there's not a lot of beatboxes that have this quality. You know, there's like Codfish, and that's and it. There's, <laughs> there's, yeah, yeah, that's Sho Shogo, maybe. Yeah. But then the rest, Hiss. you know, the, like even even with Dilo, even D with Dilo, sometimes yeah, I'm like, oh, little... the skill level is crazy. Yeah. But like the, but he doesn't have to tone every time. You yeah. know, sometimes I'm like, ah, this the, it doesn't sound pleasing to my ear. Nah, what, he what he does is insane. But, He's uh, with you, best beatbox on the planet, in my opinion, for sure. Yeah, yeah for totally, sure. Like, like, I, I, like totally agree. Especially like if it comes to battles, amazing beatboxer. And but if it, uh, if it comes to creating music, sometimes I'm. Uh, I'm like okay. Um, I I wouldn't I wouldn't consider this to be played on a radio. Who, who do we talk about like right that. now? Who is this? Dilo. I'm talking uh, Dilo, about Dilo. Okay. Exactly. Like some stuff uh, sounds too weird for like a bigger audience. True. Let's put True. it like this. Yeah. Right. Like for nerds, it's it's sick. Mm -hmm. But like for for a bigger audience, uh, he might need to uh, adjust some sounds. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like some some weird ass triple duck sounds, yeah, whatever he, it is. You he know? gets into the like, weird patterns. So like for, 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 I don't know. I, I I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Like some I people hate, just I hated that that tongue flute at first. It grew on me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, 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 yeah. How he does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, I was like, bro, yeah. is white? No, what are you doing? Like, you're just ruining the beat. But he got better at it. I think the first time you showcase it, he wasn't like as clean with it. And then that's that's everything. Like, just being clean. That's probably my strongest suit. Um, it helps when you're not trying to learn like every single sound like out there. When you just like mm. continue to, to work the basics, everybody knows work on the basics, get really good at your basics. And that's like gonna put you beyond like most beatboxes. If you just get really good at the basics, practice, practice, practice your basics. Funny thing about basics. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't, I relative in relative to like how long I've been beatboxing. I just recently learned how to do an inward case snare. <laughs> I could not, I could not do that for like, That's clean too. Dude, I'm telling you, probably I learned it maybe like three years ago and I've been beatboxing for 15 years now. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, if you go back and you watch all of my vines and you watch all of my, my Instagram videos, the only snare I ever did was a PF snare. Cause I just, I could not for the life of me do the, all my, I tried to do a case snare and it was like this. It was like, Like from both sides, there's like no punch, yeah. there's no bite. It just sounds like air. Whenever I was recording, and I was like, I want to do a case on the. It just sounded like air, and 
Mm. I think like a few years ago, I really like was like, okay, let me learn how to do this. And I was just, I was doing, I started with that, you know, the duck sound, (laughs) just doing that over and over, walking around my apartment, (laughs) just making this weird, in the shower, just (laughs) clean. (laughs) And then I I just got, I just incorporated and I got it better. And (laughs) now I can do like a inward case now. It's like basics, man, basics, 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 practice your basics. And that just goes to show like, no matter how good you think you are, even if according to you, you could be GBB ready. The beautiful thing about beatboxing is like, there's always room for improvement, no matter what level you are. And it's Definitely. just, it's just awesome. Yeah. Like that whole process of like starting with a sound that doesn't sound like anything and then having it transition into like this amazing inhuman otherworldly thing that only we can do is like the coolest, nerdiest yeah. shit ever, and I love it. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's so awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'd love for yeah. you to to meet other beatboxers. I, like that's that that weird stuff that's happening during beatbox battles, where yeah. everyone is just like kids are just practicing the sounds, but like one sound the entire yeah. time, like just like yeah, the way you would. You Bro, would, you should come to Germany, man. <laughs> yeah, I, so for, for like boy I was gonna go to the last GBB. Or no, the upcoming was it the is it the next one? When did all that Japan or the next one? In no, Japan? no. When was it? What, what, or, uh, after all Poland. the after all Poland's the in- after all the drama went down. Yeah, in Poland. Yeah. After all the drama went down, I was like, mm, I don't know. Like, let me let me like kind of not uh, let me distance a little bit, just see how things play out within the community. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then uh, we'll see about me joining. But I definitely would love to go. Like I said, I, I'd be right there in the front row, just like. I'm just you put the face cam on me. I'll be the new. Um, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting his name? BBK. Yeah, so just, ah! like I could, I could do that. I could do that. Yeah, <laughs> I can make silly faces. I'll <laughs> be good clickbait. I'll be good. Click. Like, what is Marcus? Yeah. Doing? He hasn't it's posted got, anything in five years, and here he is in the crowd. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. Reacting in the yeah, crowd. Yeah, pretty much. No. Yeah. Uh, I, I better face reacts yeah. than actual beatboxing. <laughs> I th- I think the the people would be very nice to you and uh, and appreciate that you would be there because uh, I think the most hate is coming from people that never even go to events. Achieved something again. Uh, I don't nowadays. This the hate was like mostly in my um, Vine days and early Instagram okay. days. Nowadays, I I don't get any hate. Like from the again, it was only from the community. Like I don't get hate from just like my general audience. Um, so it was like nothing but like positive comments, but then like, it was almost like here was the, the community hating on me and then they dipped and then Maddox came with this comment and then the community came back and was like, you're amazing. I was like, what, what's going on? Like what? Okay. Wow. Like you guys hated me like four years wow. ago. Like what's going I Did I get that good? I don't even, I didn't even notice, but okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just a perspective. Like, uh, I tried to put it into perspective. Like, guys don't expect him to do battle moves Mm -mm. because that's not his approach. His approach is making music and it sounds amazing. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the point. And it's so cool to see, like, beatboxers kind of, I don't want to say take my lead because I think that this is just like a a general direction that it would have had in any ways. I would just happen to be like one of the first to like, take that departure from, you know, battle lane to like social media and just making content for myself. Um, so it's cool to see beatboxers now like explore this other lane that's not just battling and be successful yeah. at it. Yeah. You know, you got like Barry Wom, um, Spencer created just a different lane of just like, let's let's do like beatbox pranks and shit like who the f- out of that like beatbox pranks like let me just go yeah. burr, burr, burr. your phone's vibrating ha, ha. like nobody no beatboxer <laughs> was thinking about that but like he did it and it like worked for him like a lot of us are thinking like that's not no we have to do like like God, crazy like this guy's just imitating iphones like what but it worked and it was genius so it's cool to see yeah. like just these people taking that approach and not just being stuck in like the battle mindset. It was almost, it was, it was comical. Like in the beginning when beatboxers first started doing it, cause you could tell the battle beatboxers because 
they would try to make like Instagram clips or whatever, and they still had that like battle energy. So they'd be like eyeing you in the camera, like getting all crazy, like into the camera. And I'm like, bro, it's just an Instagram video. Have fun with it. Like, just, just, just show us like a little, just do a little groove. Like you don't need to be all like intense in the camera. And like, we're not battling right now. Like don't make the audience feel like they're battling. Like, it's just funny seeing like just kind of the little pitfalls, like just the wacky beatboxing videos. And then people finally got the hang of it. And now you're seeing people like, make pretty like engaging content. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's wonderful to see. Um, and then like, yeah, combining yeah. it with like, man, BBU, it's, but it's so hard. Like, like, ah, oh, it's beautiful. I also started to, to make more like Instagram content, mm -hmm. but man, it's so hard to get rid of this mindset of like, okay, you have to do something that is like hard enough mm -hmm. for beatboxes to appreciate. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it, bro, like, that's like the a, hardest thing for me like, right now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing workshops now. Like for for years, I'm, 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 I'm kind of, kind of quitting battling, but it's so difficult to for me to impress like a general audience because I have to like like dumb down my beats in a way, like, uh, uh, or at least not a dumb down is maybe a bad word, but no, like no, I have no, to like simplify it. I have to simplify it in a, in a way that's digestible and under, understandable for someone that doesn't understand beatbox as well. And it's like it's <laughs> that. Most difficult thing, and it's funny. I, I just told Maddox, I've done your beat today. I've I just discovered that if I just uh, uh, if I want to make connect, like I'll I'll do these shows for for schools, mm. and uh, uh, and so I'll be like, uh, uh, you probably have TikTok on your phone. You might know this uh, sound, and I'll just like, <laughs> right? I'll yeah. do the uh, the thing, <clears throat> and they're like, wow, he's so such a good beatboxer, you know? Because <laughs> if I if I go like um, <laughs> or I do something else, it's like or like. <laughs> It's yeah. not good enough, but yeah. if I go like, uh, uh, yeah, dude, like your your beat is this is the this is the new drop at like a time. Yeah, it's like um, back then if you would do. I'll tell you, yeah, it's, wow. it's, 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 it's never oh, that's yeah. a actually pretty awesome comparison. I've never thought of it like that. I don't. Know but it's gonna, actually really, yeah, it's it's a really good way to to uh, have have people uh, make a connection mind wise mm -hmm. yeah. to to beatbox like, I, had, I, had oh, similar, I had to do tiktok and then <laughs> I, i i had a similar experience like uh, a friend of my girlfriend showed me the the video was like oh do you know this it was like come on <laughs> i'm a beatbox of course yeah. i had this a million times and then she was like can you also do that i was like it's not hard so <laughs> live on stage <laughs> <laughs> she was like yeah, yeah but can you do this Oh my god! I, I did it, and, I, she, and then she was like, "Oh my gosh, it's so dope!" And I was like, "Wow, yeah." But it's yeah, actually it's hard. It's actually hard because we're talking about the throat bass to get this throat bass down that you're doing in the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the hard uh, part, yeah, the beat it, itself, it, it, the skeleton is easy. I think the hard part is like matching the pitch that I chose to do. Like anytime I hear yeah, somebody yeah, do and it, the texture of the bass. Anytime I hear so other the people do like, it, they're uh, always I, like a little I never bit heard a, I never heard a version like I never heard a beatboxer doing it and making it sound good never yeah, I've, i've heard some people i like if you can't hit the same pitch that i was show me one show me <laughs> like um <laughs> let's see i'll, I'll try it I, i don't know the pitch that i i'm probably going to end up doing it higher than 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 i did it but <laughs> see it's like not it's not cutting it right now but it's because i don't ever do it but Let me try it again. If I should have a fish, and yeah, so that's that's the beat. It's super rough. That's so right surreal. Now. No, it's super Bro, it rough. Sounds that was same. so rough. That was not. That was not super clean. But the thing is, um, no, I said it's surreal. To, like it's super clean. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's, it's super rough. clean. But it's so surreal to hear that, like the live version of <laughs> yeah, the sounds, sound that I've heard a like thousand record. times. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the recording. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, it's, yes. It's like, I'll yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it's, it. It's, it's like. It's, it's like you see you see 50 Cent and he performs in the club yeah. the same way he would perform <laughs> 20 years ago. You know? <laughs> and then you're like, oh my gosh, it sounds the same. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm glad yeah. I'm glad you guys Crazy. liked it. Um, yeah, it's funny that that I almost didn't want to. No, it, it's bro, it's so funny. Like when I said, show me show me a beatbox uh, who can copy it. I didn't mean oh, you to do it. Oh, I, you really set glad. me up, bro. You set me up. <laughs> 
I did, but uh, I, I, I'm glad now uh, you did it. Clip, clip. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, was like, I was like, show me, show me one beatboxer. Oh, no. Show me one beatboxer who can they're, copy it perfectly. I don't know anyone. Maybe, maybe Codfish could do a, a, a version that sounds no, good. Codfish could probably do but it. But not the same, you know? Um, no, I mean, <laughs> well, you can we'll go back to Homeboy that like basically did it for like an entire year. <laughs> but, uh, Wait, yeah. King Homeboy, you mean? No, 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 no. Or, I'm saying I'm homeboy, just slang. But as far I'm referring to the guy uh, that that I, I know, I know Jacob does it a lot. That's what I'm talking TikToks about. And no, no, it, no, again, no. I don't want to. It never sounds. I don't want to hate. I don't want to hate on him. It's just as like a content creator, I kind of like don't respect him as a person. I'm sure he's cool and beatboxer is he's dope. But as like a content creator, it's like hard for me to like respect someone that just like and not only him taking my beat and just running off with it, but like. A lot of his content is like not original. Like I feel like he doesn't like he hasn't come up with like a known his own original idea. A lot of his content is just I see it all over the place, and he just does what other people do. So it's just like ah, but yeah, yeah. He 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 was able to you know monetize, and I mean he's Jacob. If you're watching this, you got 13 million followers on TikTok and 13 million subscribers on Instagram or on uh, YouTube. You don't have to do my beat anymore. Let's just you you you, you let it go. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I'd love for him too to like create something like 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 something else. Then, yeah, he then doesn't just need to do a video that first, and then he he repeats the video that he just saw, and that's his content, right? Yeah, now. again, you he can do. Yeah, like you could do, you could do, you could do, you could cover it, but like ah, just running off with it, like that just like rubs me the wrong way. But off that, um, I've heard people cover that beat every type of which way. I've heard people use like inward bass or. Vibration bass sounds pretty cool um, with that beat, and it's it's actually like a man. I I always thought like the the bass you do it, it sound it, it's, it's, just a throw bass. it's just a it's throw just throw bass. bass. <clears throat> I've just I trained my throat bass to get like really low. Um, I can't do I can't do vibrate. I wish I could. I could do vocal as a vocal 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 chest bass. Um, <clears throat> it's like a. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 mm -hmm. whoa, whoa. But as far as throat bass, let me see how low I can get. How how, how low how low can you throat go? Bass? Throat bass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Probably like that's it'll start to crack if I go lower than yeah. that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Yeah. So when you get yeah. like to those really low notes, it's it's uh it's it's a little janky, but yeah, I literally I literally practiced. Um, I trained my throat bass to get like that low. I was not I, I've never been that low before. I remember I was on um, Snapchat watching like old videos, and I came across one where my throat bass was like lower than I could do it at the time. I was like, "What is this? Me? Like, how did I how did I get this low?" So I was like, I was trying to do it and I couldn't get the, those low notes. And I was like, yo, so my throw bass was, was that low, which means like I should be able to get it back and maybe even go lower. So for like months, all it is, is just like hitting the lowest note you could possibly get to. And then just moving one mm -hmm. note down and no matter how crappy it sounds, just do it. And then try to like yeah. add like sounds. So if like, whoa, 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 whoa. And if I want to go lower, so I'll just do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then add sounds. And I would just do this over and over and over for like ever. And then yeah. you don't even notice it. You'll just kind of go back one day and you'll listen and record yourself like to keep, to keep track of like which notes you're practicing. Cause there were days where like I wasted an entire day thinking that I was like, Oh my gosh, this sounds so good. And when I reference back, I'm like, wait, I'm doing like a note above and not below. So keep track of like where you are and, and just do yeah. that over and over. And I would kind of like have these little, I would go like, whoa. So yeah, it doesn't sound good, but when you do that, it kind of brings you through like yeah, everything, like it, to the whole exactly. Range. And not only that, like different mouth positions. Mm, yeah, so like yeah. whoa. So it just kind of like opens up your throat at the end, and you can like practice like any kind of way you would like project throat bass because yeah, you can project throat bass mm -hmm. in like different ways depending on like the shape of your mouth and your tongue and all that stuff. So I would just do that over and over and over and over and over again. 
And uh, yeah, it, it eventually got like pretty low. And then once I got like that note down and just another note below that and then below that and before you know it, you get a yeah. deep ass throw bass. Yeah. Nice. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cause I did it higher today. I did, I did like a, <laughs> So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so it's 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 easier to throw bass up there, but when I still struggle, but it's it's cool to like say that you got like a really like low throw bass, and that always yeah. like throws people off. They're like, whoa, whoa, what is that? Because people will think that it's like vibration bass or something like that when you get to those the, those registers. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and the thing is, like when I when I go down with my throw bass, at one point uh, the vibration bass kind of automatically switches on people say that you know what i mean um yeah i've tried to learn vibration bass and i try to find that i tried at one point to find that spot but i kind of gave up and i'm kind of glad that i that it doesn't auto auto flip into vibration bass because i think vibration bass is cool as it sounds it doesn't you can only have like a few notes to use with vibration bass right like you don't have mm-hmm. like the same range throat bass gives you. So I'm kind of glad that I don't do vibration bass because it allows me to like, I just have a wider range to choose from as far as like pitch um, when I'm doing throat bass. That's why I think throat bass is like the best, the best sound overall. Sure, it's not like the most yeah, impressive, I, I totally but like just what you can, I've built my entire audience. <laughs> Every video I've done is like yeah. throat bass yeah. and you can make them distinguishable enough and it just gives you like so much to work with. So recommend everybody Learn your throw bass, and you can practice as low as you can. Because when you first start throw mm. bass, it's easy to like just want to do it up here, like. <clears throat> but you'll get used to that. So if you're just starting, like practice a little bit lower, and get used to like beatboxing down there, and yeah, you're set. Yeah. 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 Good tips. It was like, yeah, nicely said. Yeah, and and also like uh, like I I also use throw bass a lot because. It's also really easy to combine with stuff. You can do a hi hat while you're doing mm-hmm. the throw bass. You can do True. a spit spit snare while you do it, and like like for example, with, you you can you can do the same with inward bass. But I feel lots of beatboxers when they combine inward bass with like, well, they kind of struggle. Or also when they like the kicks, the kicks don't have enough punch mm-hmm. with the inward inward bass. But like throw bass is really easy to combine and if you got that if you got that D low throw bass or D low inward bass, then kicks and all that stuff don't matter, man. Like that that shit is heavy. (laughs) That shit is heavy. (laughs) Yeah. It's deep. Just the rumble. Like, oh man, I wish there are so many sounds I wish I could like there are so many sounds I can't do that I wish I could do that are probably like basic sounds. I can't do the the little Sega sound. The I can't, I can't, you know, the little, that weird, yeah, yeah, I can't do that, like, uh, can, can you do a click roll? I can't roll? do a click roll, I can't do a click roll, that's like, oh, wow, okay. I feel like the first time you, you go to an event and you meet beatboxers, you're going to pick up so much, uh, dude, so much sounds, yeah. a click roll, I don't, because click roll is like rolling your R's, right, but just like more aggressive, I can't roll my R's, I don't know, how, I don't know how people do that. Well, cl- it, well, click roll is like inwards. It's like uh, uh, it starts with like a doggy fresh kind of thing. Like, you, you know, doggy fresh, yeah. right? Like there. Yeah. yeah. It's like I do the, that on the side. I do the that same on the side. way. I do that like on on this side. I don't do that. Do you uh, do it in the middle? But then it must be. Yeah, for me, it's in the middle. For most people, it is. Yeah. Like. Yeah, it's like the same placement as a as a as a, as a click would be. Mm-hmm. But your your tongue is a little bit more bent. Yeah. And you go. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> but but you also can do it on the side. Like uh, when yeah. I do this, it's like on the side. Oh. That's it. That's it. It's just. Well, I think you, he's doing. Not, not I, th- I think he yeah. goes, and that's not a click roll. I think is that is that but what's like, happening? To be able to it's do like it. On the, can you do that with like kicks and stuff? Like, can you do that in a beat? Like, I I don't know how I would be able to switch so fast from like doing a kick to that sound and then a snare. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I, yeah, you have to yeah. go outward. It, it takes a little bit of time. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. maybe it may, I just have mm-hmm. to like practice an ungodly amount of time to figure that one out. But um, I think the last <laughs> the last sound that I learned yeah. was was like the post snare. Like, 
Um, hey, that sound was cool last yeah, week. Yeah, I, yeah. Was like, I, I saw, bro, bro, you 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 did, you did like a video where where you you would uh, like every post day like for like every day where you yeah. practice. Man, you actually your videos motivated me to practice. Yeah, it. did you get it? Like when I when I, I saw this yeah. too, I think yes, for me yeah. too. Yeah, like I saw your yeah. videos and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like he, it took him so long. Okay, it I, took I'm, like a whole I'm gonna month. stick through this. Like. Yeah. Same for me, like two or three months, even. I, it took very, very long. Yeah, and yeah. then I get comments yeah. of people like, and like it's it in like two days. Like, okay, well, yeah, you yeah, didn't make a video, yeah, so no. you could have yeah, got a million yeah, views yeah. if you made a yeah. video about yeah, it. Yeah, but, but then, but then their posters, their posters probably like, <laughs> oh my gosh, some <laughs> yeah. guy, in two days, some guy know? stitched it. I will never, I saved the video. Some guy stitched that video and he was like, that's cool, but can you do this? And then he did like a post there, but like also the, um, the polyphonic voice at the same time. Oh wow! It was it the it it, it made the post snare sound uh -huh. like like so electronic. It was insane. It was like I don't know how we yeah. I don't know how we did it, uh -huh. but I was like, that's a sound that I want to learn. If I learn if I learn how to do the polyphonic thing, game over. Yeah. Game over nice. for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, come come at yeah. me, D'Lo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I can do like a stitch polyphonic, yeah. no, oh my gosh, oh, I don't even want to imagine yeah. too open. Yeah, th th that's that's the thing. Like most people, most people use it like a sound effect, but Stitch can like pitch yeah. it and he can sing with it. And I, I think that's the that's the thing that people should go melodic for. melodic sounds. Not to just me treat it like, as a, like a my bread and butter. That's yeah, that's what I love. Not treat it like a like a trick, but like use it as an instrument, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, any sound that's like melodic. Yeah. That's, and, that's and, I mean, and I mean, that's that's also, also the thing with throat bass. Like most people are not impressed if you just do boom, boom, boom. But if you can, if you can go up scales, if you mm -hmm. can, if you can do like a, a whole melody, people are like, oh shit, that sounds sick. But at the end, it's just throat exactly. bass, but then really well practiced and combined with your that's voice, it's right? Like one of the best and, sounds. And, 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 and like th this was like a thing with with your videos that would stick to me. I was like, I want to get this quality in my throat bass. Like when I heard yours, I was like, oh my gosh, throat bass can sound so beautiful. I feel like that's- I, I want to get this To quality. me, I feel like that's more, um, like, I don't know if everybody can have like the same sounding throat bass. I feel like that just depends on like your quality of voice. I feel like your throat bass depends so much yeah, yeah, on no, like it, just I, how your natural voice yeah. is and you just kind of get what you get. Yeah. You can learn to like pitch it up, maybe tighten it up a little bit, but everyone I feel like is going to have a, a different, different type of throat bass. Yeah, sure. I, yeah, I mean, like, look, look at Big Man. Like, he mm. he has a really different throw pace to everyone else, but it sounds amazing. Really good. Like, He's he has a super really good high. He can hit really high mm. notes with it. Uh, and Wing also is an example. Like, he has a, also the mm. really sick yeah, throw pace, yeah. and it sounds codfish. Really of course, yeah. you can't yeah. mention throw pace without codfish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Reaps one Reaps has a really like my, special throw pace. That was like my out of like every point in my life where I had like inspiration to like continue going reaps was like by far like hey when he came out with move that like showed me beatboxing was like more than just like mm. like he was it was like this is like music like you could do so much more with this um and it, it had totally inspired me to to keep keep going and like take my talent even further like there's like little points like i think obviously the the first bit was the first beatboxing video you guys Ever saw? I've ever remember? seen. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Daishi. The <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Right, okay, I, remember. Mm. I know that one. I know that one. Mm. What about you, Maddox? Yeah, I I remember. Uh, like so back back in two thousand two or something. My brother, uh, he downloaded the album of Razel, and he showed me. Like I, I didn't see a video. I was just I was just hearing the audio. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I remember I was hearing this and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, dope. But I think you just didn't click. I think you have to be born with this skill. Uh -huh. mm. No, it, it like I I thought it, it was awesome, but I had no clue how to do it, and like I it didn't stick to me. But then uh, in 2006, I saw Pulpo, uh, like uh, the French, yeah, French, the French. Oh dude. yeah, everybody yeah. that that video was like, yeah, the one for a lot of people. Not not for me. I, I was I wasn't like the biggest fan of that video. I'm my favorite videos were like just random, you know, the random kid at a talent show or just some dude in his room, like mm. the, the random nobodies, like those are like my favorite videos, just like finding some some kid 
and just in his room in front of his window, just beatboxing for like two minutes and add like, you know, a yeah. thousand views or something like that. Like those are like the videos that I, I really mm-hmm. liked. I think the first video that I ever saw, I don't know the guy's name, um, but I don't think he's like really a beatboxer anymore, but he looked like it was like this white guy in like a white t-shirt and like blue jeans. And he's like outside on like a stage and he's doing all of like Rozelle's routines. So like, and he's like beatboxing really fast and it's like kind of technical and it's, it, it sounded really good. I'm sure there's some people, it was like, is the, that, it was like one of the first the like UK really guy? viral. I don't know. His, I could not tell you his name for the life of me, but it was like so mega viral um, here. Is it Killa Killa? No, I was a fan of Killa Killa though. Um, oh. But yeah, it wasn't him. It was like, again, I don't think he was like really like a, a beatboxer beatboxer. I think it was just a random guy that like beatboxed and like was doing this performance, but he just is like standing on this, uh, on the stage and, and it's like outside and there's people in the crowd watching him and he's just doing all of like, he's doing Rozelle's whole thing. And I thought it was his. So I was like obsessed. Mm-hmm. It was like, boys, boys, kids, some and he's just doing that whole thing. And I was like obsessed. Mm-hmm. And I like had this little MP3 player that could also record. So I would hold it up to my computer speakers and I would record that and like all my other favorite beatboxing videos. And I'll just put my headphones in and I listen to it, walk around my backyard, trying to do everything that I was listening to. And beatboxing kind of came a little bit yeah. easy to me. Like the first beats I started doing were like the humming beats, like, mm, 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 like stuff like that. And um, after I kind of mm-hmm. got a little bit better with that, then I started like experimenting with like more drum beats and stuff like that. And listening to all these things, just trying to do everything that I was listening to, all my favorite videos. And uh, yeah, then I started coming up with stuff of my own. But like, yeah, that guy got me into it. And then obviously I discovered Rozelle from him because he was just doing all of Rozelle stuff. Um, Killa Kella, I loved Killa Kella. Oh my gosh. Killa Kella was sick. Pete Box, um, Rocks or Loops, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you Pete could Box, not, yeah. Yeah. you could not have a conversation with me without mentioning Rocks or Loops, dude. I was like upset with mm. that when he was on stage <laughs> with Rozelle. And the first time I heard that one, like, like that beat, oh my God, blew my freaking mind. Um, yeah. Rocks your loops. And then yeah, he, he was one of the first, he was one of the first beatboxes doing like a authentic house beat. Dude, yeah. it, yeah. Was, it was so, he- I still, I could hear the video like in my head. I listened to it so many times. Um, <laughs> Felix, Felix, what's his last? Felix Zenger, you know, the guy, he had like- Felix the, Zenger, yeah, Zenger, this one, yeah. Yeah. one video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, that one, I was like all over. Um, yeah. yeah, I learned how to do. I learned how to do a little crab scratch yeah. from that. Yeah. Um, Skiller, Slizzer, Slizzer. That one video of him in the room with all those other people is just doing like the dubstep beat. Yes, yes, yes. I think Kim. I think Kim is. Uh, uh, it's it's another video than the singing video, right? Or at least uh, 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 Kim is filming. Or at least Kim is. Somebody in the video. else is filming. Yeah, yeah. he's just sitting right, and he's got a mic and a, and a speaker, and he's like doing this like crazy yeah. dubstep beat. And I remember at one point, yeah, he got so high. And I was already good. I was decent at throw bass. I, I kind of still don't know how he does it. Maybe it was like a high vocal chest bass. It was like, <laughs> yeah, dude, it was yeah, it's, crazy. Yeah, it's like, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. how? I never heard that. Yeah. Uh, but bro, okay, bro, bro, you can you can do chest bass. I can do no? chest bass. I can't do it high. You, you told me I, you can, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, but, I can only do it low. I can't do it high. Can, can you try? So like it's, if I already do it high, chest like, bass combined with the falsetto <laughs> bass. I'm gonna sound so yeah. stupid. <laughs> See, it doesn't. Yeah, that's good. that's the technique, I think. Is it? I think that's. <laughs> yes, I think. I yeah. sound like a pissed off Elmo. Like. <laughs> 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 I sound like an angry Elmo. <laughs> I know control. I have to. So that is that really it? It's just that, just like refining. I think that? so. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm probably blowing out your your headphones over there. <laughs> yeah, I I learned vocal chest bass in a weird way. Um, I used to do like regular, just like regular chest bass, like, yeah. but it never sounded good in videos. You could never hear like the rumble. Cause you know, you hear it in your own mm. body. So I was like, my throp, my thought process to how I got to that sound was like so bizarre. I thought I came up with a new sound. I was like, oh my God, nobody can do this. Like I'm going to make a video and like show the world how to, because I just came to it in like a really like backwards way. So I started with chest bass and I was like, I don't like how that sounds. Let me like try to clean it up. So it's like audible in videos. So like to clean up any sound, the first thing you do is you subtract as much breath as you can from the sound. So I went from like to oh. 
And I was like, okay, wow. that sounds, Whoa. yeah. So I just, I literally, I like forced the sound and I subtracted all the breath from it. So it just went, <clears throat> but that hurt every time I did it. Like it would destroy my throat. Yeah. Like it was so painful. And then I was watching this guy. Um, oh, what's his name? Daniel, I want to say, the, the guy with like, the long hair and he does like the, he was doing like beatbox reviews, but from like a, a, a vocal, like technical standpoint, like explain. Uh, David with the long yeah, hair. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. yeah so yeah, like yeah, he yeah. would. Yeah. David, David Larson. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So like he was breaking down throat bass, which is like really cool. And all these sounds, which is basically just like your vocal cords vibrating and your false chords vibrating at the same time. And just depending on the pitches of those two different folds, like you can get these different sounds like mm -hmm. vibration bass and throat bass and whatever else. So I was like, okay, that concept of like adding your voice to like, you know, the rumbling you're getting from your, your false folds vibrating and getting a little technical, but I was like, all right, let me try that. Let me just add my voice to this whoa, 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 sound. So then that's, that's how I got whoa, 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 whoa. and it was so much like cleaner Ooh. and like, what? yeah, it was so much cleaner and it didn't hurt my voice and it sounded cooler. It gave me like a new, like harmonic to work with in my beats. And it, it, it sounds like beautiful in beats. And, um, it's still, it's, it's, it's way more difficult mm -hmm. to throw bass. So you got to kind of pick and choose where you want to use it. But that's how I came up with that sound. And I thought that I had like done something revolutionary and new. I was like, oh my God, the beatbox world is going to trip out. I got this new sound. And then I started hearing like <laughs> vocal chest bass. And I'm like, wait, that's pretty much like what it is. I just learned it in like a weird backwards way, I guess. Yeah. But the thing is, it sounds different. Yeah, it than, is different. Like for example, Collapse also uses chest bass, but it doesn't sound. I feel like it sounds almost the same. Does it not? Close. To me, when I hear that, when I hear no, Collapse, I'm like, that's, that's what it is. In my opinion, but I mean, if you guys say it sounds different, yeah, but uh, no, it's a totally different tone. Well, now I just explain to the world yeah. how to do it. If the, text, call it, the texture is like call yeah, it the Marcus space, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah maybe, maybe it's just because like you you can hit it really low. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe because it's yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, but uh, yeah, it I also different. thought I came up with um, <laughs> the. I thought I came up with that sound because I, I did that like on Vine way back in the day and I didn't hear like anybody else do it, but I never like mm. really did anything with that sound. And then Collapse started doing that shit everywhere. And I was like, damn, missed my wait, chance. Wait, wait, when, when was the Vine thing? Because I, I I know Timmy, I used to do it as a as a, as a a rifle. Like Timmy, uh, Dutch beatboxer, mm. I'm not sure mm. if you know him, but mm. like, he would like a, <laughs> he, he, he would use that. But yeah, it was, um, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, this, was, this yeah, was back in like 2013. I, I think this is, also, this is a really old school sound. Like I, I Probably, remember, yeah. like uh, there was one guy in in Munich. He was like, uh, he's like, I think he's in his 40s now, and he had like his this party trick where he was like, mm. like uh, do this. Mm. But the, but like, his it's a basic sound. Really I just wanted to like, like show the beatboxing world. I wasn't totally useless, and I'm like, see, I can come <laughs> up with like, stuff. <laughs> This is my new sound. Like back. It's like, okay, I could beatbox for six seconds, but I came up with something new. So what's good? Um, yeah. yeah. No, but the thing, the thing is like, I think what's, especially nowadays is even more important than creating new sounds is like to perfect something mm -hmm. that it sounds amazing, mm -hmm. you know? Because most people, they, they don't stick to a sound long enough that it started to sound good. Like uh, me and Bart would talk about uh, something uh, about this topic uh, last time, like uh, there's, Beatboxes who have a crazy sound arsenal, but they are not yeah. they're not evolving yeah. every sound to this level where it sounds really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes it can Yeah, you can be like average at everything or weird. really good at a few. And that's definitely like Yeah, and I, I would I would always prefer being really good at at uh, just a few sounds than Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's my whole thing. Um Yeah, any other questions? Yeah. All right, again, I could, I could talk forever. <laughs> Maddox, do you have any questions? I, I have uh, one thing that I would like to ask at the end, and then I have the wheel of spit. Wheel of spit. Yes, I heard about the wheel of spit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What, what, what's, what's, a, what's a question? No, I, I would just like, but I think it's, it's nice uh, to, to leave at the end. It's just, it's just I wanted to know about your, your, your current or uh, uh, future projects. 
um, because you're you're you wanted to come back to social media. Is there yeah. any str- is it's strategy just, or things that you want to put out, bro? You you, you got you know what? You, you got to come to Germany, bro, and I, I produce some stuff. I for would. You. I, I I don't I don't think I, I'm not like crossing it off. Like I'm never gonna go there, but yeah, I probably would. Just gotta find the right time. Um, as far as and we and I know you, I've heard you like let's make a track. Like I'm I'm totally down. Um, but yeah, as far as like future, don't projects, spend your X on him now. Huh? No, I'm not, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying it's gonna be like next month or like. But eventually, I would definitely like to come down because yeah. again, like the beatbox scene out there is like crazy. That's like where everybody is, and and it would be really cool to experience something like that and and connect with these people. Yeah. And, and bro, Im- imagine imagine like all of a sudden you just post like a song, like a two minute track. I. I mean, it's I've sick. dabbled with like trying to like, you know, record and I, I was on a um, a video call with like Shazam and, and Sin and they were, I asked them like, how do you like mix stuff? Like I was so obsessed with like, how do you like get the sound quality out of like this microphone? Because every time I would like spit into it, it sounded horrible. And so that kind of gave me like a cool mm-hmm. like rundown. And, and so like messing with like Logic and learning how to like EQ and compress and different effects and transient shapers and all that, all that stuff. It's like fun. Um, but I think my ambitions just get a little too, a little too high and I need to like focus on like the immediate task at hand. What is that post a video? (laughs) Like you can't like Mm -hmm. disappear and then like spend all your time working on, you know, these, these big projects and, and it's really cool, but you got to like get your foot in the door first. So my first steps are just like becoming, um, more, uh, active on social media and and consistent. And, but bro, I think with your reach, if you would post an amazing track, it would totally, I'm sure it would. I probably could build out that stupid beat and make it like a whole song. Look at the codfish, bro. Codfish drops one song a year and like, like, uh, uh, I, I remember like, uh, I think before the thing in, in between, uh, I, I don't remember the track. Anyways, like he didn't post for two years. I oh, think. it wasn't like his last and one. It was like one his... before that. Right. I think I, yeah, I remember what yeah, you're with talking the vibration about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bass. yeah. I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like spoken word parts and uh, he didn't post for two years and then he posted this one and it's still performed really well because people still, and, and the thing is like you, Maybe you're not posting that much, but your content is still out there. Yeah, that's true. It's still you know? in people's minds. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still out there. Like people still know exactly who you are. Uh, they know your sound. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, it wouldn't. Yeah, uh, I'm not. Yeah, if, if you post something, it would do really. Yeah, great. I'm not. I'm not against it. Um, I just I know how like my mind works, and once <laughs> I, I like that's yeah. that's definitely to come. Like I'm not saying I'm like never gonna do you know full on track. I'm not gonna stick to like you know. 10 second beats forever. Um, I do want to create like. And, and the thing is like, look, I can, I can even teach you like a way how you can keep your quality for two minutes, bro. <laughs> okay. Like, like literally like, uh, like uh, I was working with Dan uh, last mm-hmm. year and we recorded a solo piece. Uh, it, it's not out yet, but what we would do was, so we recorded like a rough demo mm-hmm. just like for, as a, as a guideline. And then we would record every bar separately and like it was sometimes it would have like two takes sometimes sometimes 10 some, sometimes 20 takes until perfection mm. and like we did this with every bar and then at the end we put it together um and it sounds like the perfect take yeah yeah i i tried to do that same thing too i would record a track and then listen to like the parts where i was kind of you know iffy on and then try to record those parts i, up. I don't know i think also like me yeah. not having the expertise of like you know audio engineering like i probably yeah th- th- that's the thing like you have to yeah you have to yeah it's really to easy it. to but, like but but the thing is also no. like uh, you as an artist i think you shouldn't be doing this you yeah. know you should I be was, the guy focusing on creating it and then get people to mix it i was you. so in the mindset of like i have to do everything i have to like know how to do all things myself and again if you're gonna take a lesson like reach out i've had so many i've i've been in professional studios in pitch meetings with like you know, executive producer sitting me down, trying to like, get me to like record. Like, I'm just like, I don't know, like, this is also new. Like I'm looking at like a recording booth. I'm like, I don't know what any of this is. Like, I want to be able to like, understand like what's going on. I don't want to just like leave my entire creative vision up to like somebody else. But at some point you kind of got to do that. You got to like pick the right people, trust the right people 
And I was too in the mindset of like, I want to learn how to do it myself. I need to know what like EQing is. I need to know what compression is. I need to know what all this stuff is. I need to know what effects do what. And Mm -hmm. then you're like, that's like half the battle. Then you got to get all the equipment and then you got to like learn how to do all that stuff. And then like there's video stuff. If you want to learn how to do video and my brain is like, I got to learn how to do that too. So let me buy an expensive camera and like watch video, like how to record videos and, and, and tutorials and all this stuff. And it's like, it's too much for like one person to handle. So you definitely got to like lean on other people who are expertise in that and don't like pigeonhole yourself. Like that's my biggest thing is I just kind of pigeonhole myself and uh, not a good quality. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, to a certain extent it's, it's useful if you know how to use an EQ compression, yeah. because then also like, you, if you know how to work in a studio, mm-hmm. you know what to take care of. Like, uh, like I, I would, I would record into a, into a studio microphone. I would beatbox differently, like on stage, mm-hmm. like I, I would use less power, but try to be cleaner. Uh, work on some transients and stuff, but yeah. So for this for this part, I I would say yes, it makes sense to learn. Yeah, you can learn a little bit. To compress but EQ just can't get can't be like I exactly. want to do just, all just of Just so it, that you, know? you exactly like uh, to to this to this extent that you know how to how how you as an artist can work in a studio, mm-hmm. but for, you mm-hmm. know all the rest like how to do the mixing, how to use the the right cable yeah. to to get like the last two percent of quality. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that that should that, that should. Uh, that should be done by professionals. Exactly. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I got to a point where I, I, w- I just wanted to get to a point where like, if I ever wanted to make a video on my own, I could do it. Um, but like, I don't know the quality of video that you're like chasing the quality of sound that you're, it's like a never ending, like, it's mm. like the goal seems like it's right yeah. there, but it's like, it's always further than you, th- than you think. So at some point you just kind of got to eh. like, I was chasing like the, the reaps one audio, um, the move audio, the, the, um, and yeah, napalm yeah. roll like this. Like I, I was even, um, I was messing, I was so inspired by Korean effects, um, and his looping. Yeah. But yeah. Dude, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, he's yeah. like mm-hmm. the best looper, like when it comes to like creating songs, um, like the, yeah, band, like not down. even the audio from the loop station. I know. Yeah, I know. But it was like, how he was able but to it, do he that made it like, sounds so good yeah exactly and i'm like and it's it sounds so like natural but clean like i was like how i need to like learn how to do this so when you're chasing like the top of the top quality um you can't expect to like get there soon so that's why i say like once i get in that mode then i'm just i it's like a never-ending cycle so i need to kind of like yeah take a breather let me focus on the simple things let me just post a little beatboxing video get it up to get, get the ball rolling rather than, you know, just holding myself down forever. Yeah. And I mean, you can still like, you know, like if, if you have the desire to create videos like this, you can still do like the way you create your content, your own way, you know, like the, the way you, you, you do it for years now, you just stick to this way, mm-hmm. creating yourself. But then whenever you feel like, okay, I want to put, put it out, uh, put out like a bigger video, uh, in a higher quality, you just get people yeah. to to work with you. You know, much. yeah. So and you make a combination of that. You that's know? definitely uh, that's that's the future plan. Like, I definitely want to just get yeah. back. So, 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 so whenever you feel yeah. like okay, I need the quality, you just come to Germany. I, and know, I, got you. I mean, there's again, again, no, again, there's like not, there's not a lot of that out there. Like, I don't think you can just like hit up a, a regular old producer and like expect them to get the same quality that yeah, you no, guys it's such a it niche to be ex- like even looking up tutorials online like yeah you can look up like you know hour long um uh teaching videos on how to you know understand and apply like compression to your tracks yeah, and yeah. but that's so like that's so different compared to like beatboxing you know like that's like compression just for like a kick like a digital kick like yeah, how do yeah, you yeah, compress yeah. like and how do you do that when everything is on its own or when everything is on the same track rather yeah. than like split? It's like, there's, yeah. there's, yeah. It's, it's totally yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it is, it, it, it yeah, is fun I, to learn. I, I mean, I mean the, the thing is like, usually for a, for, a, for a drum set, you have like 10 microphones. Yeah. Sometimes 20 microphones. Yeah. And we're all just doing for it in each one. sound. And then you have an overhead. And yeah, for beatboxing, for every sound, you have just one microphone. It's like you're, you're so mixing yeah, that's, the, that's the like, kicks at the same time as like the synths, as the same time as like the hi-hats at the yeah, same time yeah, as the yeah, yeah, yeah. snare. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, the, the 
the cool thing is like seeing what can be done out of it because again like bbu that shit was i'm still like those videos are like insane that was so fun yeah yeah like you br you dude that i was like every three seconds i was like it was crazy like the and the technical aspect of like how you came how you created those like i'm sure like yeah people there was the whole thing with like it was just so unnatural but like that's so cool that you can make it sound unnatural but natural but like it's i yeah. i don't see like a like to me that's not like a bad thing like when you say like unnatural like sure maybe for like a battle it's like a little questionable like a battle you're always gonna have like traditional rules but like outside of that that's so crazy with it like let people have fun with beatboxing and i don't like how beatboxing has been so like put into a box you know like mm. for the longest time mm -hmm. i just want to see people have fun and just do every crazy thing with it they can possibly think of because that's the only way it's going to like grow you know so keep doing amazing shit with beatboxing pretty much this is what i want to tell people and post content nice, yeah. all you all you beatboxers that are on battle stages post con post me telling people to post content i know that's funny but <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys i'm not dead no but for real for real, like it's it's seeing again i'm drawing it back to the bbu seeing these people i mean i'm sure it was great that like they were being provided like the funds to be able to do it but if you have that capability like create content for yourself like i'm saying like swiss beatbox is great it's a great hub to like get yourself out there but don't make videos for like other platforms if you have the the ability to create it for yourself and put like oh mm -hmm. i just want now i want to go into like content creator mode like i just want to give tip like how to create content i'm sick of seeing people record videos like right up on their mouth and it's like you just see like their nose and their mouth i'm sick of people beatboxing in the bathroom it doesn't sound good i can't hear anything because the reverberation is like way too loud i want to go to a drier spot like Again, no, I, I said this earlier, no talking. That's probably my, my biggest, that's probably a, a little secret that most people yeah. don't know. Like tell, no yeah, talking, tell, tell yeah. because especially, and this is specifically for, you know, posting and algorithmic reasons. Like once you say any word, like the algorithm is going to detect that and it's going to distribute your content to regions where that language is predominantly spoken. So you are immediately cutting out like the majority of the population um, from being able to see your videos. That's how like all these top, top creators, that's why they have so many followers. If you scroll through their comments, you scroll through my comments, scroll through Spencer's comments, scroll through like the top creators on, on TikTok or even on Instagram, scroll through their comments for more than like 15 seconds. You're going to see like every language under the map in those comment sections. And that's because like they don't speak. And I don't say anything in my videos. So the algorithm is like, well, I don't detect the language here. Let's just spit it out and see where it goes. I have videos that like don't even touch the US. Like that's where I live. And I have videos that like the US has not seen. Like the, there's one horrible video I made. Um, it's like a, so whoa, 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 that's not yeah. horrible. Yeah, it's bro. so bad. I, hate, <laughs> yeah, I, I hated that. that video. I was like, I want to delete this so bad, really? but it got so popular. I was like, my throat bass doesn't sound good in that video. It just feels, it sounds very dry to me. And like, there's no, it just sounds like rumbling. There's like no like undertone or harmonic. It just, it's, it's dry and like thin, thin. Wow. That's how it sounds to me. So I don't like that video, but yeah. plus I look stupid and I just, I, I don't like it. Um, I want to delete it, but it blew up. So whatever. But that video is like, 80% <laughs> viewership is in like Russia and then like 5% like Brazil and then another 5% like Japan and another 5% like not even, I think maybe like 2% the U S so try mm -hmm. if you also do want to have like the majority of your, your followers from the same region as far as like brands go, because I can backfire if you have like, if you don't have a targeted audience and you're trying to work with brands, you're trying to build an audience and make money. Brands don't like that you have like a scattered audience. They want to have like if you're the majority of your audience is like from a country and where like Target doesn't exist and Target wants to you know sponsor you, it's yep. like they're yep. not gonna obviously sponsor you. So make content yep. relevant to your country. But if you have videos and really good ideas that you think are gonna spread, like just don't say anything. Don't say anything. No, no drop. Like do 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 do. Let's go. <laughs> like don't like don't say anything. Yeah. Just, if you Smart. watch my videos, all my top videos, not a word. 
um, as soon as you speak, then you've just limited the the, the audience. Wait, 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 but what about sing? What about singing then? Singing, I mean, that's different. You sing uh, if it's really good, it's still gonna go viral either way. But yeah, this again mainly replies to just or applies to to languages. Like if you sing, yeah, sure, yeah, the algorithm algorithm is gonna whatever language yeah. you're using, it's gonna go straight to that um, straight to that region. So it's like really cool to think like how global my audience is. Like when I just look at the videos and like where they land, um, it's really cool. Yeah. So definitely try that out. And again, that's how like all these people with like 50 million followers or a hundred million followers or whatever, like they're so global, like their top pieces of content are just all over the place. So yeah, just like put effort into your videos, like get some decent lighting. I'm not saying you guys specifically, but just the beatboxers out there that want to create content. And yeah. obviously you look at Maddox, look at that setup. Beautiful. So, um, but <laughs> look, yeah, at BR, yeah. <laughs> look at Br. Look at Br. He's got the he's got the he's got the uh, the little YouTube plaque in the back, and I got those same speakers. Look at this guy. What is that? Is that Goku? Uh, yeah. Oh hell it's a yeah! Goku. Hell yeah! All right, I got it from a, get Goku. <laughs> Mag, Matt, or Br. One. Um, <laughs> got it from yeah, a Japanese like, beatboxer. Yeah. Oh, cool. But yeah, get um get some decent lighting. Just put a little effort into your into your content and you watch 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 yourself okay but blow up. look look so uh for me uh, I'm, i'm curious like um i heard from a lot of people that my content doesn't work on tiktok because it's too professional so some and, and people would say yeah it looks too much like a commercial you know what i mean oh my gosh um if i wasn't using my phone to record this um i would do a little Maddox analysis of your TikTok page because I don't even know what you know what you post. Do you take do you take like clips from your from your YouTube and post them? No, I create uh, you create original content for, on TikTok. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. you use like this whole setup and everything. Yeah, overproduced setups on TikTok. You want to make shit feel like relatable in a way, comfortable. Um, having like too yeah. professional. That's like YouTube's domain. I can watch like the most professional setup on YouTube all day long, but on TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that, like I don't want to see like your pores in like HD and you know every like <laughs> detail. Like I don't need to, I don't need to, like 8K footage on TikTok. Like just film a video with your phone, set it up a decent amount of way, do your little thing, like beatboxing when it's like right on your face. Oh, I don't. I don't like that. I do it sometimes and then I like cringe after when I and I'm like, this is a really good video though. It sounds really good. I gotta post it. But I like hate when I'm recording and it's like too close to my face and my the entire screen is just like this under part of my whole face. I'm just beep. I, I I hate that. I hate that. Um yeah. just learn how to, I guess, like compose a video. Um decent audio, like make sure like everything's off, you know, I have like a washer and dryer in the background and, and just do your thing and build that audience again for the people out there that are trying to, to build an audience. because it's possible beatboxing is like such a unique niche and people love it. Um, and I want to see everybody succeed, you know? So yeah, especially when you make music. Yeah. With it, yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, Not nice. Nice. Focus so much on the battle. Um, I wanted to do uh, the wheels. How scary is this for you? Because you're such a perfectionist. This is going to be like a freestyle kind of thing, yeah, and it's I'm, like I'm gonna you're going to get like I'm a, hate this, but I'll try it. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. Yeah, so, so the challenge is: uh, so uh, he will spin the wheel, and then uh, you have to. I saw some of the things on it. It was like no throw base. That's the one I'm dreading. <laughs> is there a no throw base? <laughs> there is a no throw was, base. Yeah, that it's, would be funny. I would hate that. Oh, <laughs> that would be funny. End the call a little bit early. <laughs> <laughs> I'll create a wheel right now with just a no throw base. Um, yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna press it. Here we go. go for it. Let's see. Wait. <clears throat> I can't even read it. You're gonna have to read it out loud to me because I don't know. Only what does it say? Mm. Only, Only house, house music. music. That's doable. <clears throat> Only house music. Oh man, this is bring me back to my. My uh, early days, I used to <laughs> do one of the first, the first beats with throat bass. I used to do this all the time. Oh my gosh, if I can remember how it goes. Okay. Three, <laughs> two, two, one. One, beatbox. Uh, 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 uh,
and that's wow. time. That was so trash. That was so trash. Bro, the, the last part was yeah, yeah. sick. I was like kind of getting into it. I feel like I'm screaming here. Sorry. I was kind of getting into it at the very end. I was like, <laughs> uh, I was like house. I haven't done like house beats. I'm so used to like, I like chill. Like, like I like really chill stuff. And so like house music, I was like, damn, this is like, this is old Marcus, like yeah. back in the no, day, Marcus. The, the last one had, had like a, the last one has had like an acid vibe. Yeah. That was really no, dope. The, I, I, in the beginning, even the beginning, like the um, you slice the um, the throat bass in quite like a unique way. In the, oh, yeah. in the uh, I've uh, been, I was I've good. been practicing that. I've been practicing that. That it's like a. <laughs> Just like trying to like mess with like doing stuff yeah. like that, but and I felt yeah, like you want to cool. at the end you wanted to go to like a, a, a like a breakdown and like half time yeah, it and then he was like oh that's no house and then and then no, keep, no. <laughs> and then you did the sickest <laughs> house I was beat. gonna go yeah. I was gonna go slower and I was like wait wait I gotta I gotta keep it I gotta keep it house um, that last beat I think was a fallback I think I did that on on Instagram how does it go? <laughs> something like that I don't know but yeah. Ah. Um, that's trash. Dope, yeah. the internet, <laughs> I knew you were going to hear me. The, the internet can hear the real Marcus. <laughs> now I'm going to get a bunch of comments like, bro, his, his beats are all edited. I knew it was fake. Look, he uses the speakers in the background. Like, it's not even I real. I feel He's like a- the opposite is going to be true for this, uh, for the comments <laughs> in this video. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Oh, gosh. Me too. Well, Thank you, you so much. I wanted to, like, uh, yeah, uh, um, if you want to, like, uh, top it off with, like, what's, like, your current project or, like, a future product that you're excited about? that you're going to share um, with the world. No major future product or pro- uh, projects. Just keep up with me on all my socials. You can find me Mark Hay, on every single uh, social media site. Please be patient with me. And I, I will come back. I will promise I will come back. I might dip again, but I'm never gone forever. So just be patient with me and uh, yeah, keep up with me there. That's it. Damn. I can't wait, bro. <laughs> I want to, I want to hear more of yeah. you. Really, I gotta get yeah. good, man. I, I your big gonna, insp- bro, you, you, maybe you don't know how much you are uh, of inspiration here, but for a lot of people, you're big that. inspiration. I it's see this this pressure. I'm appreciating this pressure. I'm not gonna lie. This year, going through a lot of like personal stuff, but so like beatboxing has kind of been like not a top priority. But again, like this happened, so I'm like feel so rusty. Like even my throat bass isn't as clean as it normally is. Like I'm struggling with like little thing like i just feel like not clean and i'm like bro just give me like three months four months to clean all that shit up and the inspiration to like jump back on the internet is like definitely there so yeah you'll see you'll see more videos of me i'll have like a good year of like constantly posting and hopefully more viral annoying beats and then and then i'll dip for a little bit <laughs> yeah, so man, ex- i'm excited yeah man Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, this is awesome. Pleasure. Thank this you awesome. so much. It's so cool to like. I probably like talked way too much. Um, probably didn't let you guys talk enough. My fault. But it's just cool to like. Oh, no, this is a podcast. No, no, this, is, uh, yeah. you know? this is. Yeah. That's why you're here for the talk. Uh, it's beatbox bros <laughs> with like multiple people, not just beatbox Marcus. Listen to beatbox Marcus talk forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is perfect. Thank you so cool. much. Yeah. All right, guys. Well. Yeah, man. So uh, thank you so much. And I hope this was not our last conversation. No, I definitely won't. Yeah. Hey, anytime. Uh, I'm, I, I'm down for this anytime. If you ever, you know, did the last minute, yeah. somebody, somebody else yeah, cancels, it, like throw maybe, me back maybe on. Maybe one day we just, maybe one day we just, uh, I don't know, do a little analysis. Here's some f- thoughts on on some videos of you. Oh my gosh. That would be, oh, that would be good. Oh no. Just reviews or of Or TikTok like, of ours. I okay, yeah, let's do other TikTok. people. Like, I don't know if I, yeah. I don't know if I can handle like reviewing my own shit. I'd, I'd cringe. Maybe if it was like TikTok yeah, stuff, no, that'd be okay. F- but from other okay, others, good. like give, give some Yeah, we do Jacob. No, I'm kidding, kidding, yeah. kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, well, Did you hear his video? Like, his video I, I so you that viral video? Like, it's, he's such a good... I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, let, me yeah, stop, yeah. let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I guess that's, that's it. it. Thank you so much. All right. Wow. Beatbox Bros. Yeah, bro. That, that's it? Wow, that was exciting. Oh my God. Uh, that was a fun talk. We uh, we covered almost everything. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I was really nervous at the beginning, uh, but he was really? so genuine. I felt that he was also a bit nervous. So that's that what uh, 
what made me uh, be calm again. He was such a chill guy. Like yeah. I, uh, I was expecting him to be, to be more, you know, like uh, cocky. <laughs> yeah, man, because he has. Yeah, I mean, he has done a lot of things, and uh, uh, no, he was like he was perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, man. to be to be honest, I I was always expecting him to be, be like a grounded person. Like just just from the like yeah you like like he he looks he looks more tough on the videos he's like he's like, boom, boom. He's like <laughs> yeah but 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 also like uh, when he when he does his beatbox videos he doesn't look cocky on it you know what I mean yeah like he's he's just uh, focusing on making it sound good but it doesn't look like he's like oh look I'm the best beatboxer you know no and it's not no, like no, no. it doesn't have like the battle energy it's like uh, yeah this is so cool it's it's funny our our podcast is kind of this this anti-battling podcast right now. We're talking to all these artists that made it without battling and we're just like, <laughs> battling sucks, right? And they're like, yeah, battling sucks. Yeah. And then we're like, yeah. You know, so it's 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 kind of funny. But it's like, I love that we 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 try to have beatboxers see that next to battling, there's this other way of making money. And I think it's dope yeah. that we we had Spencer on. I mean, now Marcus Perez. What, what do you mean by, what do you mean by there's an other way to make money with beatboxing? Yeah, there's, there's like- There they is they a way. Yeah, there's a way and it's not, <laughs> battling yeah that's what we're yeah, saying yeah yeah exactly so uh yeah, yeah. I, I hope we can inspire some people yeah, to, to and, make and content I mean, you know, for themselves like most most people and most people know the beatboxes from the battling scene you know that, uh, yeah. lots yeah, of them have their it. own channels yeah. and stuff but uh yeah i i found it really interesting to talk to, talk to spencer to wobbles to um to marcus perez because they yeah. are not so much active wobbles, in, the, yeah. in the scene yeah so, I uh, I talked to my uh, Patreons and uh, one of uh, one of them uh, asked me to uh, uh, ask Shogo as a guest and I think that would be beautiful. Mm. Um, so uh, I asked him on Instagram. I hope he replies. Uh, that would be dope. Yeah, uh, because he's also it. such a beatboxer that I look up to as well because it's such a good artistry. If I'm saying this right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, his videos look dope. The audio is dope. Also, he has like a famous uh, uh, TikTok sound, like the "Now oh, you're gone," you know, <laughs> like uh, yeah. that stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's uh, the last time I saw Shogo in person was 2018, I think, at GBB, and uh, like he was in Basel for the GBB. I think yeah. that that was the last time I was talking to him, um, and ever since, not really. Um, because he was he yeah he was always busy. I think last time he cancelled because because of university or something. And uh. this year he um, I think he made a post or did he like like somewhere uh, he would say that he he's not gonna compete at GBB um, for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe he just wants to focus on his yeah. own things. But this could would be nice yeah, to I'd actually to find ask. out. Yeah, man. In the podcast. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm, I'm keeping my voice a little bit down because my girlfriend is trying to sleep in the other room. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, if you want to watch our video where we talk about Maddox, help me out. I have ADD. So we were watching the rounds of Beard. That's it. About uh, the round of Beard uh, versus CJ. And we would also watch Rusi versus Leonard yeah. uh, at the Beatland battle. Uh, do some analysis on it. So if you're interested, yeah, And if guys, you're watching right now, I probably lost the battle. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, vo no the voting right. system was not in favor of Beard. Um, but yeah, but, uh, watch, but the, yeah. watch the last video if you're interested in uh, uh, analyzing us. And I would say, see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>